<clears throat> Look hard works. Bada ba ba Let's do it, boys. Let's get ready. Fingers. Ammo. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. I'm a league fishing. Are you your drain? Why you close, folks? Yes, I'll be home that you. Oh, man.
be. Very proud. Losing. Over. Fishing. Fiction. I love the I've had some, some ladies have loved Jimbe. You know, try to kill me. Heaven is free. But the doctor asked me that he is condition. Amy, oh. I'm a lean tradition. Don't I long it's a family tradition. Out there. I forgot how to start the vehicle. <laughs> right, now how do we raise it up? Forklift. Oh, there it goes. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, man. I forgot. Uh, how do we get out of the vehicle? Oh. Si, sí, senor. Pinche Horta Barbosa. <laughs> no, madre! <laughs> Alright, let's go. She can't leave it running, stupid. I got the water, bitch. Just sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Okay? You don't wanna hear that beep beep shit today, okay? Only I do the beep beep. Okay? Alright? Beep the truck.
Oh, we need to order. Shit, we need to order the white one and the green ones. Oh, we need to order the white and the green. I forgot how much we're gonna order it, but oh, what the hell are we bringing this shit up here for? <laughs> rusty. <laughs> Getting rusty. <laughs> Okay, so how much water we got in there? So we can get up to 380, 382, okay? All right. So we're gonna do more on that recipe. Yeah, we're gonna do more on that recipe. We're gonna do this one. Right? How much can we get in there? Oh. So 950. So that's me 190. 190. Hold on. Let me get a piece of paper. Hey, uh, uh, Blueberry, you should, you should add me as a friend on Steam, man. Yeah, you should add me on, as a friend on Steam. I don't know why you haven't. Oh, wait, I already have a paper. <laughs> Stupid ass me. I already got the papers right here. Or is that something else? Oh, that's the, uh. Not the right paper. Okay. 190. How much money is that going to cost me? 9 and 9 is 18. Carry to 1. 300. That's going to be 380 of those crushed milks. Crushed milks, 380. White ones, 380. And the other one is going to be, what is it, 34 and 34? Because we're going to do two of them, so eight. That's 68. 68 green. Or, I mean, yeah, 68 green. I think I'm good on yeast. But we'll add it up anyway. Eight. So forty-eight. Really? Uh, I guess the brown brown boxes. I just put B for brown. I know. I know. So total water amount is going to be 7,600 total of the green or the crushed milk is going to be 380 and the hops which is the white bags are going to be 68 total and the yeast is going to be um, 48. Yeah, I was I was waiting for you to to get me one. Go go to I guess you go to add friends.
Oh, there you go. There's the uh, friends code. There you go. Get the water in. Now let's get the water in before. Um. Oh, how much it's gonna total? Yeah, I mean, well, this is me. Uh, market. I think this one's gonna. Three hundred and sixty, right? Three hundred or oh, three hundred and eighty. So we ordered three hundred and eighty of these. Oh, what the hell am I doing? No, no, shit, shit, cancel, cancel, cancel that shit. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. This one. Rush me. I need three hundred and eight. The wrong shit. <laughs> Let's do three eighty five. Let's do three eighty five and sixty eight. What is a sixty eight, right? I can't even read my own fucking hand. Let's do seventy. Go get this water. Hey, stupid! What are you doing? Hey. Dude. What are you doing, man? Oh. Yeah. Trying to figure out what's wrong with this truck. Yeah, I got it. Says you're online. <laughs> okay. Take this over here and throw it at the truck.
Uh-oh, now he's eating it. Oh, wow, that moved the damn truck. So you had to run over the, the, the thing just to be able to... Wow. Hmm. I know how to fix it. Penny, actually stop right. We're gonna order. We're gonna order another one. Yeah, we're, okay, we're gonna order another one. I just got to get this one in first, and then I order another one. Uh, thirty-eight twelve. Yeah, we're order. We're order another. One. Oh, I spend that ninety five thousand. Better get bought. So where is You know what? I I think so. So you guys, you guys remember when I used to bitch at, uh, bitch at the uh, CenturyLink, the CenturyLink uh, people, or when they had when they had issues of. Not, uh, um, uh, why is this guy? Why don't this guy? So you guys remember when I used to bitch about the internet being not, uh, not working? When the, um, when, when the CenturyLink one, um, wasn't working right. And, and I was saying that maybe they should send out emails notifying that they're you know working or text messages when they're working on the service i guess after speaking to them multiple times and cussing they fucking ass out i've been receiving emails and text messages from my century centurylink.com for my internet provider um letting me know that you know, we we stored your service, or we we're fixing the, the service, or there's an outage, or this or that, or that. So evidently, I guess they got tired of people yelling and screaming at them when they are cussing them out when you call them. I mean, I've done it plenty of times, but <laughs> hell, I've been with the motherfuckers forever. Um, 
you know what I mean? Like I, I've been with them forever. Like like don't get me wrong, I've been with I've been with the same fucking internet company more than eleven years, right? I've been paying the same same internet company for eleven fucking years, right? So you you will be if you was running a company and you got someone that is dedicated to you that pays every month on time never misses a payment no 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 nothing you know what I mean you would think these companies these fucking companies will do something to to make it worth for us to have right so I guess they take it in effect of you know of us getting mad at them because we never received emails. We never received text messages. In the last four days, I received at least six emails and about six different text messages telling them we restored your service. So every time there's an outage in my area, they send me a notification, which is great, but it get it get it's get uh, it gets annoying. <laughs> it gets annoying. Like they just sent me one right now saying. Re restored your service. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with my service. I'm using my TV to listen to music. Um, and that's on the other center. That's on the center league, right? So my phone, my phone, my tablet, and the TV and the Xbox is all hooked up to one internet, and my PC is hardwired to my other internet. I'm waiting for the water. So I guess it's I guess it's good that they're working on that. Now we gotta fix. Now we gotta fix the restaurant businesses. Fucking restaurants, man. So I ordered a bread with sausage and eggs. Chopped up onions in there and some bell peppers and shit in there with green, um, green chili sauce, whatever, in there, right? With a root beer and fries, right? So, I get my order this morning. You know what I mean? I get my order. Motherfucking, everything shows up. But you know what the problem is? The drink's not here, so they had to refund me my my the price for the drink. Then when I open it, then when I open it, cause soon as they dropped it off, I open it right, make sure everything is there right. So soon as I open it, and I go to start eating my food, the fucking fries are stone cold cold. You know what I mean? And the sandwich, and 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 the sandwich is all soggy on one side and cold. So why I got the guy on the fucking phone telling telling them about how bad the service is because the, the driver did great. It's a fucking restaurant. <laughs> so I call the restaurant and I tell the lady that answered the phone, um, did you guys make my my drink? They're like, who are you? <laughs> so I go and tell them who I am. You know what I mean? I go and tell who tell them who I am. You know? And um So I'm discussing with the lady, you know, asking her did you know was the drink made this and this and this and that. Because recently I, I ordered from a burrito place, right? And they gave me the wrong burrito and didn't even give me the shit that I paid for. So they had to refund my money for that. Then then they just had to refund me my money for my drink. Check this out. My drink cost me damn near seven dollars. They refunded me seven dollars for a fucking drink. On top of that, after bitching at him about 
about how shitty the the food was of being cold they go and give me a five dollar whatever shit so next time i order you know the next time i order and everything um then i got like five dollars off which is which is great you know but i mean come on you you really want to have to deal deal with someone like deal deal with people like that be honest i don't and it's that's not the only restaurant that's done it i've had multiple restaurants do it so i told the lady on the phone i said i asked her i said well do you guys need a a, a real cook she's like what do you mean i was like well well i used to be in a fast food restaurant so I start listing off all the restaurants that I worked in, right? She goes, um, why don't you have a job? <laughs> and I said, well, because the government won't let me have a job. And, uh, so. Come to find out, the, the the place that I ordered it from was Denny's. Now everybody loves Denny's, right? Okay, so the problem problem with that is Denny's is doing shitty job. And then and I told her, I told her, I said, well, keep messing around, you you guys are gonna be replaced with robots. <laughs> she was mad. She was mad as a motherfucker when I told her. It. <laughs> yeah, she was mad as a motherfucker when I told her that all oh, you guys just be replaced by robots. <laughs> She's like, sir, that's not funny, sir. You have a great day. <laughs> and she hung up on me. <laughs> she was mad as a motherfucker when I told her, that, well, the robots are gonna replace you. <laughs> All right, so we got to count how many we got here. 24, right? 24, 24, 24, 24, 48. Another 48. Another 48 there, because that box over there is missing fucking half of the boxes. Uh, we'll just wait till the, for the water truck to leave so we can get the trucks to come in. Um... these ones up that way we can get the right amount of how many bottles we're gonna need okay so we got one two that's one two that's 48 one two that's another 48 so that's two 48 three 48 four 48 and we're missing a pallet and a half. So that's 348s, right? 348s, 348s, 348s. 48. 1, 8 and 9, that's 96. 48. Uh, 14. Carry to 1, that's 10. That's 15. 154. We're going to need... What's that, 380? So we need probably about 200. Let's do 380. Minus 154. 7, 10, and 4 is 6. 7 and 5 is uh, 2. 3 and 1 is 2, so we need 226 bottles.
I'm telling you, I'm good with numbers, man. If the cartel, if the cartel or the government needs needs a number guy, I'm the I'm the man. <laughs> All right, let's get these bottles too. So we need 200, 222, 24 bottles. Now let's fuck around this do. 226 bottles. Let's fuck around this get 230. So we're looking at 10, 10 grand just for that, right? Let's order it. Yeah, because look, you got, okay, you got 950 here, 950 there. That's 190. Fresh milk. That's 380. We'll see how much. See what we're gonna get out of there. There's the first truck. Go away. Go away. Um, I forgot how to use the buttons. <laughs> so what are we going to get first? All the white ones? Oh, they give us bottles too. Okay, let's see. We got we got some green in there. So we order the white and green. How many trucks of white do we get? One truck of white? Wow, that's a great, great opportunity. Ten grand on that, and another. What well, we spent? We we spent seven thousand, seven thousand six hundred on water. There's the last water truck in there, right? Yeah. So so seven hundred and six. 7,600 for water and then another 10,000 for bottles and the white shit <laughs> the white shit uh, let me clarify the white shit uh, the white bags and the green bags <laughs> and the bottles or anybody to take it inappropriate <laughs> the white shit well, what is the white shit there uh, the shit you shoot out your dick <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, the white bags. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I'm not high, gentlemen. I'm not high yet. I just been awake for the last eight hours. Yeah, you heard me, right? I've been awake for eight hours. <laughs> I went to sleep. I went to sleep at four o'clock yesterday. I didn't get up until fucking. Well, I got up at ten o'clock. Talk to. Uh, well, you guys know. Um. And then. <coughs> he was pretty upset because he didn't hear anything from me for fucking six hours, seven hours. <laughs> He's like, you sleep for a long time. Well, I was tired. I I guess I was really tired. Um. So. Yeah, we talked for a little while. And then. I went back to sleep. <laughs> I went back to sleep. Then I said, okay, fuck it. I'll get up. So I got up. I think it was what, one o'clock. About one o'clock. I got up and I've been watching TV ever since. Yeah, I've been watching TV till I got hungry and said, okay, well, I'll give me some breakfast. And uh, I was going to come on here. Actually, I was going to come on here and do uh, American Truck Simulator, is what I was going to do. But then I remembered, I was like, well, fuck. I was gonna do a uh, beer factory. 
So like, fuck it, I'll, I'll go ahead and do Beer Factory. Do that for a little while. And, and then, uh, we do, uh, depends on how high I get. <laughs> it depends. It depends on how high I get. Um, cause I, I don't like to do a bunch of driving when I'm high. As you tell, I get pretty stupid. <laughs> I get pretty stupid when I get high. <laughs> I was actually going to come on here and have a conversation about off the wall shit, but <laughs> I, I don't feel like it today. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like it today. I wish those would fall down. Fall down that way, we can just pick them up. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna discuss this. Check this out. Check this out. Okay. So this is this is an issue. Okay, for for people that are on social security disability. So I'm gonna give you guys a prime example why you don't want to do early retirement. For one, you don't want to do early retirement. Um, you want to work as long as you can. Um, because I'm gonna put it this way to you, okay? If you're on Social Security disability, like I am, right? Okay, the issue. Of being on social security disability is the problem of having a relationship now if you guys don't know social security this is this is how social security fucks you okay so if, if your spouse your girlfriend your wife works right okay so, so say so, let's let's say I have a girlfriend, right? Let's say let's say I have a girlfriend. We've been together more than six months, whatever. Okay. Now, when the government finds out that I'm dating, or anyone that's on social security disability is dating, okay. What they do is they look at what she makes. And they go off of what she makes. So if you're used to getting a check, 943 bucks, like me, and say, let's say, okay, let's let's throw it out there. Let's say if I'm dating a professional wrestler, right? Say if I'm dating a professional wrestler, the government finds out about it. You know what I mean? And, and Say we're living together, right? Say say we're living together. And she's the breadwinner, right? She's bringing all the money in the house, right? Okay. The problem with that is whatever the fuck she's making, they're going to go off what you have. So, <clears throat> so if she's making, let's say she's making... Let's let's say she's making probably over two hundred thousand, over two hundred thousand, um, every year on taxes, right? Now the government's going to do this. They're going to take what she makes, and they're going to take what you receive. And what's going to happen is the they're going to give you. As a person that's on social security disability, this this disability, um, and shit, they're going to take. They're going to take about fifty percent of what you make, so you you look forward to a nine hundred and forty three dollar check each month, right? Okay. And you're dating this professional wrestler that makes over two hundred thousand dollars. She's paying all the bills. She she's the breadwinner. She's She's head honcho of the house, right? You know, because pretty much that's what the fuck she is. <laughs> She's got more money than you. Um, so what it comes down to is 
you're pretty much going to lose that $940 check. You, you're going you're gonna to get it. Of course, you're going to get it, but you're not going to get the full amount on Social Security Disability. And this, go, this goes for anyone that wants to retire and, and that is married and thinks, oh, you're going to live great. Your spouse has got a job. She's making plenty of money. Uh, you're receiving money from the government. You're receiving food stamps. You're receiving housing. You're receiving all these benefits and this and this and this and this. No, 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 no. What's going to happen is the government's going to take your housing from you. The government's going to take your housing from you. The government's going to take your food stamps from you. <coughs> the government's going to take um, your benefits, your medical, your Medicaid. Like, like for me, I have Medicaid and medical, uh, medic, uh, A and B and C uh, medical. Like for old elderly people, considering that I'm legally a disability by birth, disabled, labeled disabled uh, in California, Texas, and New Mexico, I'm legally banned. I I'm legally permanently fucking marked for, for disability. Regardless, regardless if I, you know, one day, you know, don't have any seizures. That's likely never going to ever happen ever in my fucking lifetime um so if you really look at it is it is it great that um is is it great and wonderful to have a spouse that is that is legally disabled and um living off the government while your spouse is making all the money no no, not really, because if you look at it, check it out. I get food stamps, right? I get $142 with the food stamps, right? On the 16th of every month, I get a $943 check on the 1st and 3rd. One half of it, like 200, 200 and something on, on the 1st, and the big, the, the, the rest of it comes on the 3rd, right? So you got that, and you got food stamps, right? You got Medicaid and Medicare. That's what I have, right? For like elderly people. So I'm legally, legally, I'm an old fucker, right? Okay. So then you look at it. I'm also on the housing, government housing, right? Even though I lived in the same apartment before I got on housing. And it took me fucking 10 years to get on government housing. That's how long it took me. Now for everybody to sit here and say, oh, this guy lives off the government, this, this, and this. No. I wasn't living off the government for for officially until until I got on to officially living off the government until um I got on housing. Now if you look at it okay housing pays okay housing pays um for half my rent right so my rent 715 bucks i pay 280 bucks out of a 715 dollar check out of 715 dollar rent i pay 280 bucks okay now the government Pays the rest of the rent. The landlord pays for the utilities like the water, the gas, the trash. Um, you know, I forgot how to pick it up. I, I forgot how to pick up the pallet. <laughs> I forgot how to pick up the pallet. Um, 
oaths are. See what happens when you don't be on the game for a while and then you just forget what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, the, the government pretty much pays my rent. And, and and shit like that, okay. So if you look at it, if you look at it, I officially, I officially live off the government because they do pay my rent. Now. Um, I, I forgot how to, forgot how to get the shit. Um, so, so, I mean, if you look at it, if I, if I get married, well, I, I, if I get married to anyone that works in the medical field, Anyone that, that has a high paying ass job that works for the government that in the entertainment uh, entertainment um, careers like WWE or movie theater uh, movie people that produces movies and shit if I date a RN, CNA, LVN shit like that they they high price they, they are they are the high paying people that get paid right in, in the world like no bullshit that is that is what the statistics that is what the statistics say that the the they are the highest paid out people getting paid so I will lose all my benefits I'll keep my social security but I I would have to I would get paid less. Like I, I would get paid about probably five hundred dollars less. So you go from a nine hundred and thirty-four, nine hundred and forty-three dollar check to about maybe two hundred and something dollars. Is it worth it? Is it worth getting? Is is it worth losing all your benefits? To get in a relationship with someone, to get married to someone, fuck no. Cause you got a ninety percent, you you got a ninety percent of chance of getting divorced within a five year period in America, with the, the with the divorce rate that we have, and I've already been divorced once, and. And I've already, I've already told, I already told, um, yeah, I've already talked to, you know, old girl about it, and, and I've already let her know. Don't, don't expect to, don't, don't expect to get married anytime soon. You know, if if it ever gets that far, don't don't expect, you know. And and. She asked me why, and I explained it to her. And she's, she's like, okay. Now, it sucks. It works out that way, but I mean, I mean, she's a good woman. Not saying that I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know personally if she's a great woman or if she's a faithful woman or if she's an honest woman. You know, but it, it's those chances chance when you date dating work you know and you know you, you always you always have to you know figure it out what you're gonna like my my plan was wait until my kids turn 18 and then move back to Texas now, she plans on buying a house in Texas. I'm not going to tell you what city, but 
She plans on buying another house. She's selling, selling her house that's in Florida. So she has a she has a house in Florida, and Oscar is not her real name. I'm not gonna tell you her real name, but that that's just her stage name. But that is not her real name. <laughs> just saying. Um, so. But if, if anything ever happened, you know, to be in that type of, in that type of situation, um, I hate it when that fucking thing disappears like that, because it disappears and it goes right over there. So yeah, I mean, she... He, uh... I mean, sh she knows I have, you know, that I've, I, that I have kids. Now, is she okay with it? Uh, in a way she is, but she wants to have kids of her own. And, and I and I and I did the math, and and I did the math. Check this out. So she's 41, right? She's 41 years old, right? She's about what three, three, four. I think it was three years, three, three and three and some odd, whatever. Um, that's that that's older than, than I am, right? So if you do the math. Say, say if, say if, you know, I hook up with her, get her pregnant in about four months. Say, I, I say about, say about four to six months she gets pregnant, right? At her age being 41 years old, you do the math, by time the child is 18 years old, she'll be in her 60s. I'll be in my 50s. I, I think I'll be like 58 or 50, 57 or some shit around there. Um, cause I'm I'll be 38 in April. So I'll be 38 in a, in a few more months. Um, so if you look at it, I'll be in my 50s. Should be in her 60s by the time the child is 18 years old. <laughs> I mean, I, I I I don't know, but I mean that's a that's a hell of a number. <laughs> that's a hell of a goddamn. Now that's a hell of a number to you have to add up. I'm not saying that I don't want to have any more. Um, how many bags has this guy's done? Only twenty. He's only done twenty. I've already put two pallets in this motherfucker. Like he's done twenty, right? We got the same amount. Like, what is he waiting for? Wait, hey, 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 hey! What the fuck are you doing there, guy? Like, what is what is he waiting for? What is what is his? Uh, a problem here. He still has to put over 170 fucking bags in there. What is he doing? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What the fuck is he? Get, this guy is doing. Now he's putting bags into mine. Look, this got 87 bags already in it. 87. What is, what is he doing? I, 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 I don't, I don't understand what this guy do. But. Yeah, I mean, I looked at it, I looked at it that, like, by time, by time, 
by time um, the child's 18. We're not gonna be able to fucking enjoy life. <laughs> you know, like, we're not gonna be able to enjoy life together. I mean, we will. Um, but. Not as, like, not as what we want to enjoy. I mean, she's got money. That's not, that's not the, that's not the thing. I, I don't give a fuck about how much money she has. That, that's not my, that's not my thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm not, I, I, I don't get with people to, to get their money. You know what I mean? And, and I told her that. And I, I, and I, and I told her that I don't, I don't want your money. Um, and, and she, believe it or not, she's asked me multiple times, do you have cash app? Um, what is your, what, what is your bank? What's your bank information? I send you money. What's your, what is your, uh, your, your cash app? Um, I, I'll send you some money. And I asked her, I, she asked me, she asked me, would you come see me to visit my family and stuff and this and this and that? And I'm, I'm like, yeah, I would. Just, just let me know when, how many days it is, so that way I can know how much money to keep, so I can be able to get a, a, a train, plane, or whatever to go see her. You know what I mean? And, and she's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got you. I, I pay for it. And I'm like, no. What kind of fucking shit is that? Like she's willing, she's willing to, to pay for a train, a plane, or Greyhound bus just for me to go visit for a couple of days and and go see her a few times a month. <laughs> no man, I'm not. I'm not looking for you to do that shit. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm. I'm not looking for a woman to to buy my way. You know what I mean? That's just that that's not me. And I told her that. Yeah, I, I told her that. You know? And she's like, well She's like, well Um What do I do all day? And I'm like, well I, I stream and I game I do gaming me on my PC and on my Xbox and everything else and like that. He's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, and I told her I used to have a PS4 and everything, but it's but it's broken. He's like, oh, oh, you 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 want a PS4? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I don't want you. I don't want you to buy it. I don't want you to buy it. Like that. That's how. That's how kind. That, that's. You know what I mean? And then people will probably be saying, Oh, he's just taking her for her money. No, I, I don't. I don't want her money. That's one thing about me. I don't want other people's money. I don't. I, I don't want other people's money. I'm not asking for I've been doing. I, I've I've put out. I've put out over. Over. Six thousand videos on YouTube. And about a about a hundred videos on Twitch. And I've never been paid for. Them. Do you do you think? Do you think I give a fuck about the money? I don't. I don't give a fuck about the money. I don't do shit for money. You know, and and I, and I told her that. You know, and so I don't. You know, I don't want her thinking. Oh, I, I just I I want to be with her for her money. I, I I don't. Maybe all these other sucker motherfuckers want to be, but I'm not. I'm not that way. You know. She's offered, she's offered me, she's offered me money, she's offered me all kinds of shit, but I, I don't want it. 
you know after after what she told me after what she told me of how her last relationship went no nah, man her last relationship her last relationship the guy took her for what she had the last relationship she had the fucking scumbag the fucking scumbag got a car off of her and, and new clothes and jewelry and, and all this shit so now what what's happening now is that she can't spend any money and then she goes to her management her management her manager to spend any money and it has to be approved before she can send it out. You know what I mean? And, and to me, I, I find that fucked up because that's what you call a payee. And I know how payees are. Eventually, they start stealing from you. They start lying to you. And, and shit like that. I know because I had a payee. When I first got on social security disability because my dumbass dad was my payee and my dumbass dad told the payee or told the social security office that I was spending my money on bullshit on to find out my dad gets drunk in the middle of the night one time and you know what he does he goes into my bank account because we have the same bank, right? Different names, same last name, and and the, the thing of it is, is he took money out of my fucking bank account and then tried to tell me, oh, he didn't know it was my that it was my account. I went back to the social security office and told them, I said, get my dad off. My fucking bank account information. I don't need a pay. And so, my dad was never able to steal any more goddamn money from me ever again. So that's that's one of the reasons why I do not trust pay. Do not trust those type of motherfucking people. Even your own family does. Um, you know, so I mean, that's the reason why, and, and I understand it's more of a translation problem because, you know, she's from Japan, she's Japanese, you know, and it's a translation, it's not real good with English, um, she uses her phone to communicate <laughs> and shit like that, which is which is great. But I'm trying to figure out how, how the hell we're we gonna have a conversation, like face to face. Like how are we gonna have a conversation? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like what kind of conversation are we gonna have? Considering that I speak English and. She Speaks Japanese. What kind of fucking are, are we gonna text? Are, are we gonna are we gonna text and say, "Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, yes, yes." Right there, type of shit there in sex. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, it's it's <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I think of crazy shit. <laughs> but I mean, if you if you look at it, you ever been with a chick that doesn't speak English? She only speaks Spanish, and, and you're white, and you're trying to bang a Mexican girl, and the only thing she understands is is sucky sucky, you know, type of shit. But she don't know really any English. So you're trying to discuss shit with her and she's bobbing her head, yes? But she didn't, she don't understand the fucking thing you say? That's how I feel. 
you know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it or processing this a little way too early. <laughs> I do have that issue. Yeah, I do have an issue of jumping off into a relationship. As you can tell, I got two baby moms. <laughs> I got two baby moms. Um, so, yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I tend to overthink things. Don't get me wrong. I, I would love to have children with a Chinese. Child. I always talk about it. Yeah, I always talk about how I want to get with a Chinese chick. I have the opportunity. Like I was surprised. Be to be honest, I was, I was fucking surprised when he actually was like, "Well, let's talk, let's talk over here on Telegram." And I was like, "What the fuck is Telegram?" He's like, "You don't know what Telegram is?" But no. Uh, I've never, I've never been on Telegram. You know, I don't know what the fuck Telegram is. So she had to, she had to send me a picture of Telegram, so I know what the fuck it is. She, she asked me, "Do I have Cash App?" And I said, "What is Cash App?" So she sent me a picture on Telegram. This is what Telegram. Uh, this was this is what Cash App is. And I'm like, okay. Uh, let me let me download it. You know. So I'm like, cause I, I I'm not. I I don't want to down. I don't want to download applications on my phone because, to be honest, my phone sits here all day. Like, I, I'm not a, a texting and talking type of person. I don't surf the fucking internet with my phone. I don't really do shit with my phone. It sits here on the charger while I'm playing video games or while I'm watching TV or while I'm sleeping. I, I really do not fuck with my phone. Hey, uh... Um... Uh, you guys see what I'm seeing? Do you guys see that, right? How is that guy sitting in the forklift when I'm supposed to be that guy? <laughs> do, do you see that? Oh, now it's disappeared. <laughs> guys. Guys taking forever. We got twenty five in. Are you fucking kidding? That's a fucking pallet. Yeah, that's a pallet, dude. What is he doing? Jerking off? Down there right now trying to figure out how to get up the stairs. This is a stupid AI. There's 36 in. Um, but do you but do you see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I would love to love to see where this goes. But be all honest. I give her maybe I, I've I'll give her maybe three months before she's like it's not me it's it's not you it's me type of shit you know discussion 
and and, and you know you, you, you know that conversation is gonna come with all women that conversation always comes up oh it's not me or it's not you honey it's it's me I gotta work on myself you know type of shit like no oh, no no don't give me that bullshit <laughs> you know don't give me that bullshit you know like I, I, I hate that shit You could tell how many relationships I've been in. <laughs> I can see how many relationships I've been in. Way too goddamn many. I don't know, I think I upset her. Cause I didn't I didn't really speak to her. Um on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I didn't really speak to her on Valentine's Day. Come to find out she actually been And I don't know, I think she I guess she had a we went to go see a doctor and they told her needed to rest. She's overdoing herself. In my opinion, she's overdoing herself. Especially for her age and stuff like that. I'm not saying she's old. I mean she's fucking hot. Like I've never seen I, I've never seen I never seen her without her clothes that she wears to wrestle in, right? So there's a video on her on her YouTube channel that she posted of her putting on her her shirt. She already had a bro on a sports bra, but she was putting on a, a shirt and a jacket. She's like me; she likes wearing jackets, cause I love wearing my jacket. Um, and, and I noticed that with her too; she likes wearing her jacket. Is and in my boo. I was trying to put four of them there. Put put four of them there. Day in the morning. Yeah, I was crazy. Is and in my boot. And 
Yeah, so I, and so so this morning I was like, okay, well I I, I want to make money. So I was like, I'm gonna create me a cash app. So I created me a cash app. I sent her. I sent her the the barcode and all that shit for it. I sent it to her. She's like, "Oh, you 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 figured out how to do cash app?" Man, I'm not stupid. I I just, I just didn't know that you can receive money from it. <laughs> I'm not a cool person. <laughs> I don't keep up with all this new shit. <laughs> Cause every time I download something, something gets a virus or some shit in my in my in my phone or some shit like that. I try not to download a bunch of shit. Like I I, I play this one game. I play one game on my phone. Guess what it is? The fucking weed game. <laughs> yeah, I play this weed game on, on my phone. I'm pretty good at it. But that's that's the only only game I play. Fucking clown dude. making trash all over the goddamn Speaking of her, right there, he's texting me. <laughs> Oh, he moved. <laughs> Go to now. guy <laughs> Oh, <he> moved. <laughs> oh, 
fucker. Come back here, you fuck. <laughs> Come here. Fucking bastard. <laughs> Well, that lady comes back and gives me a fucking battery. <clears throat> Got him. Okay. Got him, coach. Okay. Get the right side of you. Hey, I've got it. I'm leaving. I wish they'll fix that fucking two bag shit. Maybe, maybe it's around there somewhere. I'll, let me go in here and see if they fixed it or not. Because they've been doing some updates. Yeah, they've been doing updates. Let me see if we find those two bags. I don't see them anywhere. They take the bottles off. No, the bottles are still there. Now the damn door's open. <laughs> He's in there. See how much what he's got in there because he's this one started first. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's at 62. And this guy is oh dude. Hey slow. What's he putting in there? The, the green shit? He's got 34 to put in there. Alright, let's get this. this. Oh. I thought it was gonna cost me more money to get all those trucks in. I guess not. I guess not, because that just only it was 95, now we're at 83. Three things of coffee, bottles. White ones, green ones. I thought it'd be a lot more. Maybe.
Did you see Liv Morgan? I don't think that's a real name. But the wrestler Liv Morgan? And she's 50 years old. Fucking hot as fuck. Yeah, she's hot as fuck, dude. For a white girl looking that great. I follow her on Facebook. And then I seen I seen that she has a TikTok as well. Yeah, I seen that she has a TikTok. I went and followed it this morning. Now she's a, a fine ass 50 year old chick. Bangable. I tell you, she's bangable. You know, you know, most of those wrestlers, most of the female wrestlers, are over. They're over. Uh, close to over 50 years old. I miss <laughs> Hold this I'll just leave it. Yeah, I'll just leave. I was gonna move it. I was gonna move it over so I could put this in there. Off my forklift, there, guy. There's no free rides. <laughs> no free rides. Take his head off. <laughs> Take his head off. I thought we were going to get more trucks in that. It's not. Maybe it's enough? Who knows? We'll see. Always a guessing game with me. <laughs>
I was gonna do Bitcoin. That was gonna, I was gonna try Bitcoin. Maybe make you money on Bitcoin. I thought about doing with the PC, but I don't want to do that. I think they call that mining or some shit like that. I don't want to do that in the car. Screenshot. I ran right into him. Green shot. Oh, what well, that's, that's gonna do? Oh, I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> uh. Green shot. Green shot. I don't know what the hell. I don't know why I don't know about fucking Bitcoin. I don't give a fuck about this point. What? 
Bitcoin's got to do with Cash App. Plan on sending me Bitcoin, which I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're gonna do with Bitcoin. <laughs> Wait, pay these fucking guys. This. Um, I don't know it's if you ask me ca for a cash app I got a cash app I made cash app I don't know what she wants with a cash app but I, I don't fucking know like some of these like she doesn't give you like get this get that download this download that like fuck. I'm clueless to what she's asking or what she's trying to imply um, that she's asking you to get. I mean, like, what what is it? What what is it that you need? Um, me to download these apps? <laughs> like, I don't know. I I, I think I didn't fucking have no clue. And that's what that, that's what aggravates me the most because I try to understand, but I don't know what the fuck you. Want. <laughs> guy needs to stay over there on his he coming again let me get let me, let me get these last ones oh, I get one more he's gonna he's gonna put that one Thanks. You think it's cool? All time. Why did he drop the bag up there? Is he stupid? I wish they'll fix that. You know what's you know what's really gonna make her mad when she finds out the IRS denied the application that she had asked me to put in there. I haven't told her about it yet. She's gonna be mad about it though. Because she wants me to help her with her taxes, right? To make her taxes cheaper. But the thing of it is. The IRS denied me last night. I, I I didn't say nothing to her. One is Valentine's. Two, she didn't feel well, so I, I didn't want to say nothing to her about it. Cause she's asking me for the 
put me, I guess, I guess she's trying to put me on her tax information. I don't file taxes, right? I haven't filed taxes since... Fuck, I haven't filed tax since 2008, 2009. So, the problem with that is, is she wants to put me on her tax papers so she could pay less taxes because she's a foreigner I guess they pay a lot more taxes or some shit like that I don't know um so I'll like okay I'll help you I'll help you with it well for the last Fucking week down. That's what the conversation's been. It's just nothing about taxes. And, and I'm trying to help her, but I. I mean, she's gonna get mad when she finds out that they denied it. They rejected the email that I got from them from the IRS. They be, they rejected. And. And I told her, I told her, I said, I ain't filed taxes. I haven't filed taxes since 2008, 2009. Because when you're on social security disability, you don't necessarily have to file taxes. Because you're not going to get anything back. You're not going to get anything back on taxes. So there's no point of filing taxes. So I don't file. And I told her that, and so when she explained me why, or asked me why, and I was like, because I don't work. I haven't worked in decades. Well, all our conversation has been is, well, did they, what did they say? What did the tax people say? What this, you know, what your email say? Screenshot, screenshot me what the email said. So I sent it to her, and she's like, "Okay, well, let, let, let's try this or let's try that." Or like she's trying to do all these things, trying to get her taxes. She, I don't see what for. You know, I don't, I don't see what for, but. Ain't gonna change anything. That's not gonna change anything. It ain't gonna do anything for me. And it's not gonna do anything for her besides make it cheaper. But I understand her point. But that comes with a risk. Because then the IRS has my social security number my picture identification and all this and all that and I have to deal with them stupid motherfuckers and I don't like dealing with the fucking government period I don't like putting my information on shit for anyone to give them any any reason to try to fuck me over or try to say I owe the IRS anything I don't know I don't know a fucking thing to nobody I mean, I, I don't know why she wants to push the issue of tax issue, yes. I didn't know that foreigners pay a lot more money in taxes being a foreigner. I didn't know that. I think that's pretty fucked up, but I mean, that's not my... That's not my fault. I can't do shit about it. Uh. I can't change, change that shit. 
And I try I tried to explain that shit. Very I don't know, I thought she was I thought she I guess she thought I was a fake person and didn't believe I was real, so she asked me to send her a picture of me to make sure it was real. And then send her a picture of my identification to make sure I was a real person. Of course I had to blink it you know, blink everything out, but I mean And I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time. I don't have time for this bullshit she wants me to fucking do. And it has to do with taxes. I, I know what it is. I know. What, I already know what the fuck it's for. Gonna ask me to do this with taxes, do that with tax. No, I don't. I don't have time for that shit. No. I, I don't know how many times I have to. See, this is the problem with with the whole situation is fucking. It's all about taxes. Like, she doesn't want to have any fucking conversation about anything else but taxes, and it's fucking aggravating the fuck out of me. She doesn't realize she's gonna piss me off. She doesn't realize she's gonna piss me the fuck off with this bullshit, dude. Doesn't realize it. Does not realize she's gonna fuck around and piss me off, and, and I'm gonna tell her fuck no. And, and then she's gonna be sitting here, well, uh, why are you acting that way? Because I don't want to give my fucking personal information. That's why. Fucking don't listen to me. He doesn't understand. I don't want to give you my fucking information. To the point I'm going to break this goddamn phone. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. I don't give a fuck about Bitcoin. Is that what she asked me to, to download the fucking Cash App to do Bitcoin? For tax paper for fucking bullshit? Asking me for a fucking driver's license. I don't have a driver's license. The fuck you don't understand, phone? No driver's license, bitch. Wants me to verify, man. Going to piss me off. I knew it. I, I, I figured. I figured something was up, man. Oh. Oh. 
so Like, it's, like, is this the conversation we're gonna have? Every day is conversation about motherfucking taxes. Is that all we're gonna have a conversation with every day? Because I'm not gonna have it. I I'm gonna tell you that. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna deal with it. I dealt with it yesterday. I was frustrated yesterday with it. And I told her I was frustrated yesterday with the fucking shit. Like, do you, do you not understand? I don't give a fuck about your goddamn fucking taxes. I really don't. I, I really fucking don't. Fucking stressing, dude. No, it's just fucking stressful, dude. It's fucking stressful to sit here and try to sit here and talk to somebody, and all they want to do is talk about fucking taxes, man. Like what are you, what are you fucking in a hurry with with taxes? What what is so fucking important about about taxes that you need somebody to fucking give their their information, their personal information to the IRS for taxes? I told you I don't fucking file taxes. Why do you keep insisting on asking me for taxes? The fuck you don't understand? You're pissing me off at this shit already. Every fucking day, dude. Every fucking day, a conversation has to do with fucking taxes. Download this. Take a picture of this. Do this. Go here. Go there. That's why I was frustrated last week. Because all, all of this is taxes. She has no conversation of any fucking thing else besides fucking taxes. Well... Did you contact the IRS? Did the IRS approve you? What did they say? What was the email? Can you screenshot it? I I'm about to say, fuck no! I don't want to be rude, but goddamn. I already told her I, I, I don't want to give my fucking personal information to anyone. What do you not understand about that? What the fuck do you not understand about it? You're not going to give me your personal information? I don't know what the fuck you're going to do with my shit. I'm not going to give it to you. You don't want to talk to me because I don't want to give you my fucking personal information. That tells me a lot. I'm just... That's how aggravating it is. Every day, dude. Every motherfucking day, dude. Every fucking day. Conversation. Cash. Uh, uh, cash app. Download this. Another conversation. 15th. This information. Same shit. What did the email say? 14, same shit. 13, same shit. Fucking 12, same shit. Fucking 11th, the same shit. Motherfucking, the goddamn, the fucking 10th. Well, oh, did you download it? Uh, what they say? Uh, can you take a picture? Can you do this? Fucking 15 fucking days, dude. 15 motherfucking days of the same shit, man. I'm to the point where I'm gonna tell her, I'm not going to do it. You're stressing me to fuck out with this. It's not going to work with this shit. Stop asking me for fucking tax information. I don't file taxes. You can't claim me as an independent. You, I, I can't claim you as an independent. I'm sorry. And I keep telling her. Not, she's not understanding. She's going she gonna, to she gonna have me flip the fuck out. I'm going to go off on her. 
I'm telling you, I'm gonna go off on her. And then flip me the fuck out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the fuck off on her. Cause over and over and over and over and over and over again is the same fucking conversation every motherfucking day. I do not want to have a conversation about motherfucking, well, what the emails say, what the IRS say, what, it, what, I don't give a fuck. It's aggravating. Do you not understand that? Fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck about this government. You not understand about that shit. Fuck this government. Fucking clear, I gotta be. Really, how much clearer do I gotta be? She's not. She's not understanding, dude. It's, it's pissing me off. Like it's really pissing me off, dude. Like she wakes up every day just to discuss, just to discuss taxes, and then she sends me a fucking screenshot. Click on this one. Or click on that. I did not download Cash App and make a motherfucking profile so you can sit up in here and frustrate me with fucking Cash App. If that's the case, I'll fucking delete it. I'll fucking delete it. I did not fucking make a TikTok uh, a fucking account to be frustrated with someone on TikTok that wants to ask me about fucking helping her with their fucking taxes. I did not make fucking telegram to be questioned or to be begged and asked for fucking tax papers on fucking that. I will delete the fucking application. I will delete all the applications. I don't give a fuck. I I'm, I'm now, now she's asking me, are you there? It's to the point where I just don't want to answer it. Really? Like, this is why I was angry last week, Friday, when I was live streaming. She was asking me the whole fucking time, well, what would the IRS say? Uh oh. When you try to help someone out, and they just keep on and keep on and keep on. Just aggravating, man. Just aggravating. Not even. Oh, dude, what the? I'm about to break this phone. I, I did not. I, I did not. I'm about to tell her, dude. I'm about to fucking just tell her, hey, I did not download motherfucking. Uh, I'm I'm not going to deal with it, dude. I'm not.
screenshot. You don't get what I mean cuz you you don't want to you don't want to get with what I mean. That's a problem. You don't want you don't want to get what I'm talking about. That that's that is that is that is that is the issue. If you don't want to understand what the fuck I'm saying. Screenshot. I'm about to give her a call, dude. Because it's coming down to... I, I'm... It's aggravating. Fucking aggravating. Fucking aggravating. I just sent to the pictures of fucking I don't get what you're saying. I I I don't I'm just gonna give her a call, man. Sorry, you cannot call them because their privacy. That's great. So you can't even give her. Well. Fucking piece of shit. Fucking tired of it, dude. Give a fuck. Aggravating fucking. That fucking patience for bullshit, dude. I really don't. I don't got patience for shit. I fucking don't have patience for it, man. I don't. Don't have patience. Don't have time for the fucking bullshit. Fuck you don't understand. No means no. Pissing me off, man. Wondering why I don't fucking have relationships because they don't fucking listen. Simple fucking directions to them and they don't fucking understand anything. The fuck you tell them.
Now, would I be in the wrong for telling her off? Would I be in the wrong to telling her I don't give a fuck about the tax papers? <laughs> I would be. But what she doesn't understand is I got a short temper. I'm not going to put up with you keep asking me for goddamn paperwork for motherfucking taxes. I'm sorry that you, you can't get your taxes cheaper. That's not my goddamn problem. Stop asking me for my motherfucking information so you can get your fucking taxes. That's the fucking conversation is about to, about to happen. Can't even give her a call to tell her, hey, I don't want to do it. But she's not listening. She's not. She's not listening to what the fuck I'm saying. People don't don't realize how uh, fucking aggravating it is to sit here and tell someone I don't fucking want to do it. I don't want to give you my goddamn information. What the fuck? In that whole sentence, is you not understand? I don't fucking give. You, my information. And you want to keep fucking pressing me. I'm about to tell you to go fuck off. That's what the fuck's going to happen. And then you're going to sit here and say, oh, you're being mean. No, I'm not being mean. I'm trying to be nice to you. You're not fucking understanding what the fuck I'm saying. About to piss me off. About to see the fucking... You're about to see the wrong side of me. It's not nice. Not nice. Cause I'll tell you to go get fucked. I don't give a fuck. I care less. I give two fucks. Give a fuck, man. I'm trying to be nice and tell you in a polite way. I don't want to help you with your tax paper. You asked me to download fucking Cash App so I can go deal with big Bitcoin bullshit that I don't have no earthly idea to do with. You're asking me to do shit on my phone that I don't want on my phone that I don't give a fuck about having on my fucking phone because it gets viruses and gets being able to get hacked. I don't give a fuck about having a cell phone. Really, I don't give a fuck about having a cell phone. Only reason why I got a cell phone is because my kids. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about having a goddamn cell phone. I don't give a fuck about leaving my motherfucking apartment. I don't give a fuck about getting going anywhere. I don't. I'm happy by my motherfucking self playing video games, minding my own fucking business. I don't give a fuck about the world. The world don't give a fuck about me. What the fuck I gotta give a back? Give a fuck about it for? I understand? I don't give a fuck. Take my stuff. Take my stuff. Fuck off. Take my stuff. Take my stuff.
Mars. Bro. Take Mars. Bro. I just, I just get, I, I get fucking aggravated, man. I just, I don't, I don't like dealing with shit that I don't have a fucking clue with. I, I don't want to deal with the fucking government. I don't want to want to deal with the IRS. I don't give a fuck about this government and the shady ass shit that they do. And, and I'm trying to help her. I'm trying to help her, but she does not, she does not understand. She, she's not understanding simple simple you know and, and it's just aggravating a lot of people in China are, are trying to hack motherfuckers over here in the US and you're asking me to help you with your taxes that's my information that's my social security number that's my fucking date of birth that's my fucking goddamn address and information that you're asking me for. I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give it to a cop. I don't want to give it to a judge. I don't want to give it to the government. What do you think? I, I want to give it to you? I mean, I understand that you, you, you want to start a relationship with me, but if this is how you start a relationship with someone, they're not going to go for it. And I'm gonna tell you now, I don't give a and, and I I already told her, I already told her I don't give a fuck about this government. I already told her that. I don't give a fuck about this government. All she can say is, I love my country. You love your country, okay? That's great. I I don't give a fuck about this country. I don't. I I, I really don't. I don't give a fuck about this country. But I can't leave it. I can't leave the United States because if I leave the United States, then they're gonna sit here and say, oh, uh, he's a felon and he can't leave the United States. That's like me sitting here buying a gun knowing goddamn well I can't own a gun because I'm a felon What you think I'm gonna go out here and buy a fucking weapon so I can get charged for each one of the bullets That's in that fucking gun plus 20 years on top of the gun to go to prison for fuck no So I'm stuck in a goddamn country that I don't give a fuck about about, about us like she she doesn't she's not she's not understanding she's not understanding that when you put your information on social media it's out there she's talking about how she doesn't want to be hacked well I don't want to be fucking hacked either and I'm trying to be nice and the best way I, I best way to explain it to her no, I don't want to put my information on here. I don't want to give it to you. So evidently she understands I'm pissed off. But she doesn't understand I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it to her. And, and what what did she say? What did she say? Bye. I don't want to talk to you. Calm down. You're mad. Of course I'm mad. Every day is the same conversation. You're not in the fucking stand there? Every day is a conversation. Same shit, dude. Every day. Every motherfucking day. Since I've started talking to her. Like, since I've... Since day one, since I've started talking to her. All I've gotten is... Um... Uh, can you help me? I ask her, what is it? What, what can I help you with? Oh, uh, can you help me with the taxes? 
Okay, what are you what are you talking about? Like you don't give me any information, you just You send me a picture and say download this. Go here, do this, do that. I am not a fucking dog. I'm not a fucking dog. I just I've been awake for what ten hours? I haven't been mad. Then she wakes up and asks me the first thing take fucking paper for taxes. No, no, don't. No. That'd be nice, but <laughs> now she won't she won't ask me why. <laughs> this one's ready. Yeah, Cause this this is the, the shit that she says. This is the this is the this is the shit that she says, man. This is this is the goddamn shit that she she replies. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a lead. This is this is this is exactly what she said. After I sit here and told her, I don't understand what you want me to do. I don't don't want to give I don't want to give the government or you my information. I'm getting frustrated with this. Stop asking me. She goes, calm down. I I will I uh I will help you. Here, follow this. Let me know. Yeah, right. Bye for I'm now. You're not calm down. Hmm? Then it says, refresh your cash app. Uh, let me see. I'm waiting. Then you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm out here putting my goddamn information out here, trying to help her, and and all she, yeah, and all right. she's doing I'm is not understanding what the fuck I'm enjoying the show. Hmm? Pissing me off. What you do? And that's, that's all. That's, that's all it's doing is pissing me off, dude. That's all it's doing is pissing me off. Because she's not. She's not understanding what the fuck I'm saying. She's not. Try. Try. I'm try. I try to to understand. I mean, you can only do so much. You can only do so much to get someone. To someone well I try to call her that's why I try to call her and 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 that way we could be able to be able to actually have a conversation with I am to the point I just I'm just I'm gonna delete it I'm gonna delete every fucking thing Really? It's fucking bullshit, dude. You wanna wanna know how somebody fuck up somebody's day? Give you a prime example. Give you a fucking prime example of a fucked up day. Someone that, that's that that's not having any issues, not having not mad, great. Want to come on here and enjoy the stream, enjoy listening to music, enjoy playing video games, and then you got somebody that comes over here that fucks everything up for you. Yeah.
Can you really not? Can you not do this shit? Not. And she and she asked me why I didn't talk to her on Valentine's Day because this is why. Like she doesn't doesn't have any conversation. Besides, besides other shit, man. God damn, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice to help you. And this is what you, you want to do? I'm going to sit up in here with this fucking nonsense. I'm going to sit there with the nonsense. Nonsense, dude. Just... Fucking nonsense. Fucking nonsense. Maybe I, I fucking thought different. Maybe, maybe I maybe I thought thought different. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe maybe it's my fault. I should not in fucking engaged in a conversation. You know what I mean? Cause I, I, I didn't I didn't think, you know, uh trying to date someone would be a fucking issue. You know, or try to get to know someone before it gets to that depths of uh, of being you know, like then, 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 okay, then, then, okay, then, then she sends me messages like, like, oh, okay, so, uh, you, you don't, you don't want to, what did she say? Oh, you don't care about me? I, I, I don't even know you. Like, really, I, I don't, I'm trying to get to know who you are. And all you're doing is pushing me away from trying to get to actually know who you are. You know, like music, color, food, what do you like to do for fun, what is your hobbies, basic shit. When, it, when, when, when did fucking trying to have a relation start, maybe relationship with someone go into financial shit? Just jump right off into it, right? Like, goddamn. Like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> like, when, when the fuck did when the fuck did women jump off into straight into financial shit instead of oh, what's your name? How you doing? What do you like? What do you dislike? Uh, what is your political uh mind frame? Uh, what do you see yourself in five to ten years? Uh, type of shit. No, it's uh, here's Cash App. Here, here's 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 this uh, app. Go download it and and, and I'll be your girlfriend. No, 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 no. This shit don't work that way. Like, goddamn. Fuck me, man. Like that's that's the type of shit I'm talking about. That's the fucking shit I'm talking about right now. Like no bullshit. That that's the steps she has taken. It's no, um, what is your favorite color? Uh, what is your favorite music? What, what, what do you like to listen to? Uh, what is, uh, you know what I mean? It's just straight off into taxes, financial, how much money you make. Uh, do you have a job? Uh, uh, are you independent or, 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 or <sighs> mm. what the fuck that is? I'm glad she doesn't. I'm, I'm glad she doesn't really listen. In a way, I, I'm glad she doesn't listen because if she watched my fucking YouTube channel, oh, she'd be mad. She, she'd be mad because I'm talking about it. Me personally, me personally, I'm about to say fuck that. Really, I'm about. I'm about to just delete my goddamn tele. 
uh, 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 my shit. Like, no bullshit. I'm about to delete every goddamn social media on my goddamn phone. And then I'm gonna send her a message and tell her, hey, you know, I'm trying to help you, but this is what this this is what you put me through with this nonsense. You know, like, no. I didn't join TikTok to get in a relationship with people. I, I didn't. I didn't make a fucking cash app. Like seriously, I'm about to delete it, dude. Well, seriously, I delete. It's just that fucking cut. I've never in my fucking life ever had to deal with somebody. Never. Even my ex-wife don't even fucking help me with shit. I mean, I'm a nice person, but goddamn, don't get on my bad side. I, I will fuck you up. She doesn't. She doesn't understand it. She. I don't know. I mean, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. Trying to explain to her. No. Not. She's not comprehending it. She's not. Like, how do you not? I mean, if I if I don't answer back to her, she wants to sit here and say, "Oh, well, you're mad at me." <laughs> and then, and, and 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 the thing of it is, is you ever you ever met a chick that tells you I love you, and she's never met you in person. You ever met a chick that does that shit? That's her. No bullshit. Like I'm not I'm not making it up. I'm not I'm not making it up. She told me that she loved me within the first couple of days of talking to her. And then she tells me that when I tell her I don't want to do the paper do 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 the download this or download that or whatever. She goes and tells me, "What? You don't love me? When when the fuck did we get to that stage? When the fuck did we get to that stage? Can anyone explain to me? When the fuck did women get into the stage of just telling a man?" Right. They love him. Enjoy him the show. Hm? And you don't even know who the f don't know shit about him. Like no bull I'm not I'm not trying to joke. I, I'm not bullshit. I'm being for real. Like I told her I had kids, right? And she asked me to send her a picture. And I told her I didn't want to. Yeah. Then she asked me about my family and everything and, and so we did have a conversation about uh, jobs and food and colors and music and shit like that and all the all the conversation of like like like, like no bullshit I, I'll, I'll fucking read you the message fuck it. I just, I'll read it. I'll read it. 
I've got all of them, man. I got all, all of them. Fucking all the way down to motherfucking. All the way to fuck down here. February 6th. I said, I said, hi, this is, this is Michael from TikTok. It's February 6th. She goes, oh, okay. Let me see your picture. I said, the, the picture from, the picture from TikTok or uh, a new picture. She said a new picture. So I said, okay. So I sent her a picture of me. Okay. She asked me how old I am. I said, I'm 37. Okay. Okay. Then she goes, what do you do for work? Or what do you do? Uh, yeah, what do you do for work? I said, I don't. I, I don't work. I'm a, I'm a gamer. I do YouTube videos. I'm a streamer. And then, and then um, she asked me, well, do I live alone? I said, yeah. And then she's like, um, what do I do for work? And I said, disability, you know? And then she was like, well, how do you feed yourself and how do you do this and this and that and, you know, basic shit like that, you know? And then, and then fucking, um, what was it? Uh, we actually had a conversation. We actually had a conversation. Um, I think it around... Um, she started asking me about the tax papers. I would say around um. Take my stuff. Let's see, was it February seventh? So the next day, right? So the next day, you know, um, you know what I mean? Like it just. Like, like the first time she told me, her first time that she told me she loved me, the first time she told me she loved me was, yeah, that's was, right. uh, I'm taking a leak, enjoying the show. February 7th, which is the day, day later. So we started talking on the, uh, on February 6th, right? February 7th, right here at, at 10 27 PM at night. She tells me she loves me. Like, like, no, like no bullshit, as it says right there. And I said, I said, okay, as long as you're safe, you know. And then February 8th, she, she, at 9.30 in the morning, says, good morning, babe. When the fuck we get in that conversation? You calling me babe. Um, and then, so, so, like, Ever since then, hmm. like ever since then, it's been, it's been nothing about conversation of, no conversation about, you know, how's your day going? I mean, she asked, but I mean, it's like, after she asks me that, then she asks me like, well, uh, what the IRS say? I just sent her a picture with the IRS, say. you know, and, and and I try to be nice. I I really do. I try to be nice, and now it's just getting out of hand. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, like it's getting out of fucking hand. Enjoying the show. <laughs> can't can't send her a message and and have a conversation without. Well. Did you do this? Did you do that? Like, 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 okay, this is, this is how bad it is, dude. On the 13th, check this out. On the 13th, on the 13th, she sends me coordinates. Like, she sends me coordinates to a tax agency place in another city <laughs> that was fucking 16 miles away. And then, and then ask me, then ask me, is that too far for you, babe? Wait, what the fuck? Why are you sending me this shit to go to a to to a tax place? And I asked her, why, 
Why are you? What's this? What? What's? What's this address for? Oh, that's for you to go to the tax place so you can give the the, the give them the, the your paper your information for taxes. When the fuck did I ever agree to go to a tax agency place to give them my paperwork? I don't file taxes. And you wanted me? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Like when the fuck is... You know what I mean? Like why? Why are you looking up? Fucking addresses in my city, in my state, looking for addresses for me to go to. For what reason? And I ask her, why? Why you want me to go over there? You know, that's that's what it's gone gone down to, like. Like she sends me coordinates of tax agency. What fucking chick sends you a fucking tax agency fucking place, dude? Tell me. Tell tell me, please, someone. Someone tell me why. Cause I, I I'm not understanding. I, I'm not understanding why. She's asking me tax pay. Why do you want me? I mean, I I just don't. I don't. I, I to be honest, I, I don't know what to think. To be honest, I don't. I don't know. To be honest. I've never in my life ever had to deal with someone that would asking shit like that. never. I've never, I've never experienced that shit, dude. And it's got me thinking. Like it, it really got, it's really got me thinking. What the fuck? You know. Like, w what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Like, really, like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, are you, are you trying to get to know me so you get my information? So you can use me on whatever the fuck you're trying to do? Or... or you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I've never experienced someone like that, dude. Never. I didn't want to say nothing to nobody about it, but... Come to the point, I just, I'm fucking tired, dude. Because every time I come, every time I go live stream, then she wants to start talking to me. And I tell her, I I'm live streaming. Like, it doesn't even matter to her. Like, okay, it's cool. I'll talk to you about this later on, you know, or, or, or whatever. Like, no, it's like, I, I don't give a fuck what you're doing. I want to know, can you help me with my fucking taxes? Yeah, that's right. I'm not someone you can, I, I don't file taxes. You need to go to a tax agency place and talk to them. You need to do. Because I'm i not understanding what you, you're not getting my personal information. I'll tell you that now. No. Not going to give it to you. Not gonna get it. Not fast.
Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm? That's why that's what pissed me off Friday. That was the conversation that I was saying on my stream Friday about her keep asking me about my personal information. That's that's what kicked it off. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and what's today? Motherfucking Wednesday. She's still at it. She asked me how I'm doing. Good morning. How I'm doing. And then she goes on. Did you do this? Did you do that? Take my stuff. Take my stuff. I only download a cash app so I can be able to put it onto my stream so I can be able to try to make some money. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's been going on since Thursday, man. Take my stuff. Yeah, it's been going on since Thursday. I don't think this is going to be enough bottles. I don't think this is going to be enough bottles. Come on, son of a bitch. Ah, oh. oh, shit, I dropped it. 
coming up here. Open. No, I'm not. I'm not up to that tech to technology bullshit, dude. I'm really not. I really. I'm really not. I'm a, I'm a simple, I'm a simple motherfucker, dude. I'm a simple motherfucker. I'm used to paying everything in cash. I'm used to doing all that shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm not used to uh, cash apps and motherfucking uh, this app and that. I don't. To be honest, I don't give a fuck about those apps. I really don't. I don't give a fuck about those apps. And it went, but but I'm but I'm you know I'm trying to be nice and help her out. You know what I mean? You can only do so far. You can only do so much. And that so much is... I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. She keeps asking me the same shit every day. She's got she's got until... She's got until... Friday. And if she asks me any more shit about motherfucking taxes... I, I'm just going to fucking delete the, the Telegram app. And I'm going to delete the fucking goddamn fucking TikTok. And I'm going to ghost the fuck out of it. And I'm not bullshit. I will ghost the fuck out of it. And then she can figure out what the fuck is wrong. You get out of the way, goddamn you, son of a bitch. Fuck out of the way. Move out of the way, you stupid AI. I'm trying to move the fucking put. We're gonna need more bottles. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need more bottles. Holy shit. Yeah. 
Get an invitation there, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. You can get it. No, you don't want to get it. Too many. <sighs> what are they standing around there for? Get the bottles. This one's almost filled. Need what, three more left for this one? And then this one will be that ready to go. It's thirteen us. Oh. Oh yeah, I get blamed all the time, man. I get blamed all the time on iRacing. Now, if my micro, if if iRacing will let me talk to people on iRacing, because I requested my microphone to be removed, right? So I don't cuss motherfuckers out. Because as you could tell, I got a short temper. I go off on motherfuckers. So I told iRacing to. To prevent the problems and altercations with dumb drivers in iRacing, take the microphone away from me being able to speak to anyone in iRacing. So that way they never get reports on me ever again, which they do not. And that proves and that proves my point for iRacing when I sit up in here and say I never crash people out. Because I don't get reported for crashing people out because I don't crash people out, right? I get reported for cussing motherfuckers out because I hurt their feelings. That's why I get reported on iRacing. That's why I got uh, uh, suspended on iRacing. Because motherfuckers are in their feelings and they whine and cry to iRacing. Now, iRacing has seen every one of my iRacing videos that I've ever made on YouTube. I gave iRacing permission to watch my YouTube videos for iRacing strictly. And iRacing comes back and tells me, well, we noticed you've been on there this long and we've noticed that in every one of your videos, it's you that are being crashed out and then you go off on people and that's why we suspended you because you cuss people out that's against the rules and i told iRacing i said put it this way put it this way if you was in the grocery store and some motherfucker walked out of the grocery store and got in his car and hit your hit your car with your with his door wouldn't you get mad wouldn't you get upset and want to beat the shit out that motherfucker? And 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 and, and the guy and the guy that I was speaking to said, in, in a way, yes, I would, but I'm trying to be professional and tell you you cannot cuss to people on iRacing. And I was like, okay, but it's okay for iRacers to crash people out, make false reports because they get their feelings hurt. I said, let one of these iRacers. Let one of these fucking eye racers disrespect me in any kind of way when I don't have a microphone 
And I guarantee you, I'll find that motherfucker and whip his goddamn ass. And I guarantee you, he'll send you a protest and tell you, I beat the shit out that fucker. Now, iRacing told me, well, if that happens, well, we're going to have to remove you permanently from the iRacing community if you decide to take it matters into your own hands. And I said, well, put it this way. I did eight years in prison, so I don't give a fuck. And I, and I let iRacing know I did eight years in prison. And I don't give a fuck. If a motherfucker disrespects me, I'm going to rip his fucking head off. And they didn't like it. So I told, I told iRacing, I came up with the suggestion. I came up with the suggestion and told iRacing, you don't want no more reports on me? Mute my goddamn, mute my motherfucking conversations in iRacing. That's what you can do. They came back with the reply and said, well, is this going to fix people reporting you? I said, what are they reporting on? The fact that I hurt their feelings. That's what they report me on. And they're like, okay, we're, we'll remove it. We'll, we'll move. We will take your, your microphone off. But just know we're never going to put it back on. I said, that's fine. I don't give a fuck because I don't want to talk to people in iRacing. And I told him that in an email. So that's the reason why they can't hear me on iRacing. But let them try to disrespect me. Let them try to say some stupid ass shit about me. And send a goddamn report on me. I'll send the video straight to iRacing and tell them, you better handle these motherfuckers. Because if you don't, I will. Because I'm not like anybody else. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm not like anybody else. You cross me. You, you fucking cross me. And I'll and I come after you. YouTube already knows. FBI already knows. The CIA already knows. I don't fucking play games. I don't. I don't give a fuck. But you cross me in any type of motherfucking way. Best believe I come get your motherfucking ass. If I gotta cross state lines or go to another goddamn country, motherfucker, you ain't gonna run, I'll get you. And that's how the fuck I am. Because I'm not gonna play with nobody. You ain't gonna sit out here and talk shit and, and run your mouth about me on, on an iRacing platform or on any fucking platform and think I'm not gonna hear about it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'll be the nicest motherfucker to you. I'll be the nicest motherfucker to you. I'll help you in any kind of motherfucking way, if I can. But you disrespect me, you cross me, you bullshit me. Oh, fuck you. Straight up. Not, and I got, no, I got, you know what I mean? Like, I could be the nicest person, I could be the meanest motherfucker you met. And that's why, that's why it's a, it, it's a, it's a bad idea for me to have the internet, because... I'm not like one of these fucking Columbine motherfuckers. I'm not like one of these motherfucking terrorist motherfuckers that get enough of your shit and then come get you. No. I come get you just, just to come get you. Do you know what I mean? And I try to be nice. I try, I try to be nice to people. I, I try to be nice to people. But, you know, like I said, you can only do so much. only do so much like I said I'm a I, I'm a I, I'm a country boy I, I love the, I love the country you know what I mean and, and there's a lot of a lot of land out there in the country all fucking bodies come up missing <laughs> like bodies come up missing you know what I mean like all my, all my family members work for the government. You know what I mean? The government knows who I am. They know what the fuck I'm about. So, I mean, I know a lot of people, they watch my videos and they're like, well, this guy's fucking crazy and he should be on YouTube. 
and, and 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 don't get me wrong a lot of people a lot of people have tried to get me off of youtube why do you think i got so many channels But I mean, I try to be nice to people. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, 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 like her. I'm trying to be nice, and she's noticing that I'm getting, I'm getting pissed off because the way I speak to her, I try to explain shit to her the nicest way I know how to. Because when I get mad, I, I say some awful shit. <laughs> ask my ex, ask my ex-wife. How awful I can be. <laughs> she can tell you. Oh, she can tell you a fucking. <laughs> tell you. I've never done anything to her, but. You know, she, she knows. Oh, this one's ready to go. She, she knows how, how angry I can get. She has watched me. Look at it, check this out. My ex wife and my ex girlfriend both watched me tear up a 60 inch flat screen TV because they wanted to run their fucking mouth about shit. And, and, and I took my anger out on the TV and, and smashed the fuck out of it. Enough to where they grabbed their purse and the kids and walked out the fucking door for hours and didn't come back. That's how I anger I get. I, I got I got the real bad temper. I mean a real bad tip. I try I try not to show it to people. Yeah, I try not to show it to people. Got no place to go. Do you understand? Oh, Hurry. Take my story. Take my stuff. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, that old man he be talking all kind of shit. He be he be saying he be pissing on the floor. Cusses his ass out in Spanish. I <laughs> cuss his ass out in Spanish. <laughs> Like, you notice she ain't said shit to me? No, she ain't said shit. She ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, she ain't, she ain't said shit. I just, I just told her, I said, I said, stop, please stop asking me about, about taxes. I'm trying to help you. And you're just frustrating me with it. I said, I told her, I said, I told her, I said, uh, I'm about to delete the app. I told her, I said, I didn't, I did not download the cash app to be frustrated with tax papers. And I told her that. 
I said I'm about to I'm about to you're you're about to make me delete the, delete the app. I ain't heard shit from her. She probably ain't gonna say nothing either. I mean, I just, I, I mean, I really don't understand why. Like, wh what is the big deal? Like, you make a lot of money. Just pay the fucking taxes, man. I can understand if you got money like me, and and, and you need financial, you know. But goddamn, you're you're just taking advantage. Right. To be honest, I mean, cause she wanted, she wants to put me as a dependent, or, uh, what do you call that when you claim someone on your taxes, like a spouse or some shit is what she said. And and I told her, I told her, I said, well, I don't think that's gonna happen. Take my stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's going to affect anything if you claim me as a claim me on your taxes, but every day with the same shit. That's like that's like me coming on here. That's like me coming on here and and talking about the same shit every fucking day. I know it gets boring. I know it. I know it does. That's why. That's why I wait until when I have something interesting to talk about. Then I come on here and talk about it. You know. Not a lot of shit interests me. Believe that. A lot of shit does not interest me. I don't find a lot of things interesting. Like, I, like, like, like I, I'm so mad. I, I'm so mad. My ears, my ears are hot. <laughs> like, my ears are hot. <laughs> That's how pissed off I am. Yeah, I see and I was I was thinking that same thing Now she offered she offered to give me money too Like she's offered to give me lots of money but the thing of it is, is when I, like, when you go to the IRS application and, and they ask you for your driver's license or your identification, then it asks you for your, not to give to her, but I mean the IRS part. Like, you go onto your phone or whatever and, and, and ask you for your driver's license, your birth certificate, your social security, uh, your, your identification card. Um, and then you have to take pictures of it and then then once you do all that then they ask you uh, a bunch of this other shit and everything and you put the information into it right which is no problem but for some fucking reason when I do it it's it's not working you know what I mean like I sat here for like three hours trying to put all the information in the IRS 
papers and 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 see this is the this is the information this is the information that I got back from this is the information that I got back from the IRS it says it says right here from the IRS we we reviewed your documents for your upcoming identification verification session and the following needs your attention replace the following document national ID card this document cannot be used as more than one form of identification if your documents are not valid or clear we cannot verify your identification then it says down here in the bottom it says the most common reasons for rejection or documents are incredible in illegible primary or secondary documents documents cannot be used for as more than one form of identification documents does not match documents types selected full image of the documents is required documents cannot be under unreadable or practical part particular p a r t i a l l y or scurred images of the original documents is required no photocopy or screenshots and then it says it says down here prepare for your voice video video call you you must show each of your original documents on camera to an i idm trust re whatever during the video call if you do not if you do not have all documents with you you will not be eligible okay so so the thing of it is that's the paper that that's what is is asking for now the problem of it is now the problem of it is is okay i have a i have a social security and i have a new mexico identification i don't have a birth certificate i don't have a birth certificate because I've never received one like I've never received one now my mom has the has it the original one but I, I personally do not have a fucking a, a fucking identification for or for, for uh, for the uh, birth, birth certificate and that's because that's because you know like I said I, I went I went to prison and in any any documents or any paperwork that's on me it is everything that my parents have and they have all those documents I can't go down to the courthouse or the um, local place where you get your birth certificate because I wasn't born here in this state that was in Texas so I'm not gonna go to fucking Texas so I can get a fucking birth certificate I don't have a passport because I never got a passport so it asks for a passport it asks for socials asks for a driver's license I don't have I don't have a driver's license I don't have a passport I don't have a birth certificate I don't have none of that shit only thing I have is a identification yeah, that's right. and a social security card. That's the fuck what I got. When I try to explain to her that they are not taking these documents, and, and that's the email that they sent me, the IRS sent me, rejecting because I don't have the shit that they want. So when I try to explain that to her, She's like, well, go go and download Cash App. So I go and down Cash App. And this is what gets me. 
So I created a Cash App so I can put information on there. I didn't know Cash App has IRS tax papers or Bitcoin. I like I like to do Bitcoin. I would love to make money off Bitcoin and stocks and all that shit. I just don't understand it. I can read. I can read. I just don't understand what the fuck it's saying. Because of the dyslexia of not understanding everything. And when I try to explain it to her, so she goes and she gets pictures. And then she draws circles or stars or indicators and says, follow this. I'm not good with that shit. Like you, you gotta be either on the phone with me, or be in person, to to have me understand what the fuck you want me to do because I, I don't get what the fuck you want me to do. And I tried to explain that to her. She's not understanding that. And th and that's the communication problem that I have. That's like me trying to understand YouTube and how to get paid from YouTube. You know why I haven't got paid from YouTube? Because I don't understand what the fuck to do on the part of getting paid from YouTube. <laughs> so that's the reason why I've never got paid from YouTube because I don't understand besides the fact that I need, what, a thousand followers to get paid? From YouTube, that's what I understand. Other than that, I, I don't understand what the fuck to do. I, I know a lot of people use uh, what is it called? Um, PayPal. Now I got a few PayPal accounts. The thing of it is, is there's nothing in it. When I link it to it, I never get anything. When they tell me to go to add ads the the ad um the ad thing for um youtube now i've done all that and i was affiliated with youtube at one point in time until they figured out that i didn't have enough subscribers like i've had 460 something subscribers on my other channel for years and i was and and i was um through the YouTube program but I wasn't getting paid even though I linked my app for the for the um what do you call that the um PayPal I mean it's linked to my channel but YouTube's not paying me because I'm not I don't have enough followers and then when YouTube figured out that I didn't have enough followers, they removed me from the um, removed from the YouTube program. They affiliated because I was affiliated with YouTube for a very long time before they caught on to it. Like I had less than 500 subscribers, and then I was affiliated. Never got paid, but I was affiliated. In 2021, 2022, they figured out that I wasn't, uh, that I didn't have enough followers, so they took my affiliation away from me. That's the reason why I don't get paid from YouTube. Because I'm not affiliated anymore. Then I was started having problems with my, with my channel because too many people was trying to get my channel taken down. Making false reports on me. That's why I got too many goddamn strikes on my other channel. That's the reason why I don't fuck with my other channel no more. Because I'm afraid to lose it. So I don't stream on it. So do I understand how all these fucking apps work? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. They're confusing. They want too many, too much information. They want, they want your information out there so they can sell it to everybody. Yeah, that's right. I don't want my shit I'm sold. Taking a leak. Enjoying the show. You want to know why I was getting all those scam emails from Google and and 
and Microsoft because Google and Microsoft sold my fucking information. That's why I'm receiving all those scam ass emails. And then when I call, call them, when, when I contact them about it, they try to fucking deny everything. And ask me, did I go and click on do not sell my information? What do you think, I'm stupid? Of course I clicked on do not sell my information. You know what I mean? But they still sell my information. That's the reason, that's the reason why I get spam emails. Never had that issue. I've had the same, check it out. I've had the same Google account. Grand Reaper 601 Google account for fucking for fucking more than 10 years never never had spam emails from it not until the government went to shit when the government went to shit that's when that's when I started getting scammed that's when I started getting reports of spam emails um, saying uh, your security on your computer, your security for your computer and your cell phone may have viruses. And then I get the same, same email that Google just sent me. I get the same email through Hotmail, yeah, that's right. which is Microsoft that sent me the same shit. I contact both of them about the same issue. And they sit up in here and tell me how I need to pay them for security. Fuck you. I'm not going to pay you for security. You motherfuckers suck. And then you got all these social media yeah, sites. Right. Like pornos. Like pornos. I've never been on porn. Never been on porn with my computer or my tablet. Now have I been on a... a on porn with my cell phone yeah a few times but it's free you know what I mean and, and I'm not on there watching like literally watching videos like I scroll through them you know scroll through them and see what shit they have on there uh you know but I, I don't literally watch them like if it's two females yeah I'll, I'll watch it you know licking each other's vaginas and sucking each other's tits and shit yeah, I'll watch it for a few minutes, you know? Uh, but, I mean, other than that, I mean, I'm not sitting on there like, Oh, yeah? Mm, yeah, baby! You know, I'm, I'm not on there with that shit. Come on, man. I mean, I, I, got a, I got a good memory of fucking big tits, you know? Big tits, nice vaginas and shit. I don't need to go watch porn for that shit. Hell, I did eight years in prison without sex. Then I come out to the world and be out in the world for fucking less than a year. I made a child in 2010, made a child in 2011, made a child in 2014. I've had three kids since I've been out of prison. And where and where the where are those two women at? Where are they at? Nowhere to fuck around. Why? Because I was used to make children. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, baby. Give me a baby. Give me a baby. Oh, you get a baby. And then once the baby's born, you take off running. No, 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 thank you. Fuck that. <laughs> and you wonder why I'm single. I, I'm not like mo most men. I don't keep my mouth shut. I don't. If I got something to say, I'm going to say it. Women don't like that. Women don't like a, a motherfucker that's going to speak his mind. And, and dating Native American women, they don't like that. They want a man, they want a man to shut the fuck up and, and listen to what the fuck they say. I, I'm not that type of motherfucker. White chicks too. I don't date white chicks because they're over... They're over they're too fucking emotional. They're, 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 they're too fucking emotional. They're whacked out of their fucking mind. And, and, and they think they're little princesses. I'm sorry. Bitch, you is not a princess. You know what I mean? 
Like, I, I watch a bunch of these TikTok videos. Real lately, I've been watching a bunch of these TikTok videos about these women posting videos talking about why can't man do this or why can't man do that? Bitch, you over the eight, you over the age of 18. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm 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 simply, simply lay it out to you. If you a woman over the age of 18 years old, I am not your motherfucking sugar daddy. I am not gonna pay your rent, your electricity, your gas, your car note, your insurance, or any medical expenses that you fucking have. I'm not gonna pay for your kids. I'm not gonna pay for your nails to get done. I'm not gonna pay for your hair to get done. That's not my responsibility. You is a grown motherfucking adult and you need to take care of your motherfucking self. And that's how I look at it. I was raised to open car doors, pull out chairs. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. How you doing? Thank you. No, thank you. That's what I was. That's what I was taught. I was not be taught to be a fucking slave to a to a woman. You are 18 years old or over 18 years old. You need to take care of your motherfucking self. If you don't, if, if, if a chick only gets in a relationship so she can get what she wants out of you. That bitch don't need to have a relationship with nobody. If, if that chick is only wanting you so you can buy a house for her <laughs> or a car for her or to give her kids so she can run off with them and get, get funded by the government, drop that bitch. Drop that bitch. Leave that bitch on the street corner and, and peel the fuck out of there. Don't even fuck with her. Don't even give her a, a second look. Just leave that bitch on the corner and leave. Because the women nowadays want a man to buy everything for them. It is not a man's job to take care of you. Just like it's not a woman's job to take care of a man. It's 50-50, bitch. It's 50-50. If you can't do 50-50, you don't need a date. If 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 you if you can't pay a fucking house note together or a car note together or motherfucking expenses together, you don't need to be dating. You don't. If if a chick can't go in there and cook her own goddamn food, Without holding your fucking hand to cook her fucking food, she's got daddy issues. I ain't trying to fuck with them. I ain't got time for that shit. I am not your fucking babysitter. That's the reason why I'm single, because women don't understand where the fuck I come from. I come from a family that wakes up every motherfucking day and go to a nine to five job and bust a motherfucking ass. That's why all my family work for the government. Hey, there's no laziness in my family. There's no excuses in my family. There is no bullshit in my family. Either you straight the fuck up and be honest about what the fuck's going on or, or you kick rocks and get the fuck on. That's just, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. I was raised, I was raised to take care of a woman, but not babysit a woman. <laughs> These motherfuckers walked off the job because they wasn't paid. Are you, are, are you fucking serious? <laughs> are you fucking serious? Get your asses over here to work. Do you know? And and I mean, it's just it's very aggravating. Like like people don't understand. They they really don't, man. Like they they really they, people don't really understand. Like I'm a I'm a nice motherfucker, man. 
I'll do any I'll do anything in the world that I that I need for someone. They need help. I don't you know what I mean? But I, I don't like to be taken advantage of. I really don't. I really don't like to be taken advantage of. And I understand she'll she'll get more money. And I understand that she's willing to give me money. But when you but when you're over here doing everything that you're trying to do to help her and, and it's fucking come on dude tomorrow's gonna be thursday again and this has been going on for a week i mean i don't mind helping her i don't i, I really don't mind helping her but it but she needs to understand hey i'm doing what i can do Stop. You know? Like I like like I told her she can she can come over here. Like she can come over here and you know and, and have a discussion. But every time I, I tell her, you know, hey, you can come over here. Because she's, she's, she's not doing anything, right? right? So, Monday she's at work. Friday she's at work. Monday to Wednesday she's doing training, gym, whatever. And then Saturday, gym, training, you know, and all that for WWE, right? Okay. So, I, I look at it this way. She has a house in Florida. She's never at. They make they make them stay at the headquarters. Like they make them stay at the headquarters of WWE, which is in Las Vegas. So she stays in Las Vegas. That's where she's at right now. That's where she's at right now. Now the thing of it is, trying to get her to come see me, because she's in Las Vegas, right? Now, if you do, if you do Las Vegas to Albuquerque, New Mexico, it's what six to eight hours. Come on, like what's so goddamn important that you gotta sit in your hotel room? Sit in your hotel room and do what? You know what I mean? Like, like what are you doing in your hotel room? That's so important that you that you can't. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. That you can't come <laughs> visit me. I mean, cause if, if if I had if I had the money to go visit her, I would. Don't get me wrong, I would. I mean, she she's a beautiful, forty-one year old, hot ass woman. Like no bullshit, she's fucking hot. And, and knowing the shit that I know, doesn't seem like she's had any fucking penis. In like, like, I mean, great time. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I. I would not, I would not, I'll put it this way. I give about three to six months, she'll be pregnant. That's, that's how good my sperm count is. Oh, he's going to disappear, shit. Wasn't trying to get too close to him because he disappears. But I mean, if you look at it, check it out. My ex-wife is six years older than I am, right? I'm 37. My ex-wife is six years older than I am. I moved here in September 16, 2009. By September 8, 2010, my son was born. Tell me, tell me, I don't have good sperm. 
to to fuck someone that was on the pill and on the uh what what's that shit that they put in their arm the UDI or whatever the fuck that is to not get pregnant for someone in my 20s for someone that to, that was in that it was in his 20s that got someone that's got someone pregnant at an age of fucking 29 years old with my sperm not with just not not just once but twice check it out 2010 my son was born right september september 8 2010 right my daughter was born november 9th 2011 back to back now you tell me how good my fucking sperm is like you tell me how good my fucking sperm is. If I can back to back like that, and this chick ain't never had kids in her in her fucking life. Never, she never had kids in her life. And and I gave her two kids, right? I gave her two kids. Then then after after my daughter passed away, after my daughter passed away, I got a divorce, right? I got a divorce and then once I got a divorce I went on about my own business right I went and found somebody else right so in 2013 I met up with somebody else right I wasn't okay I moved into the apartment complex over there on Charleston in 2013 of March Mar March March uh, 15th, 2013, I moved into apartment complex. And then by, by, uh, what was it? I think it was around September or October is when I met my other daughter's mom, right? I, I, I <laughs> the first night I met her, I fucked her. You know what I mean? Like, like, and she's only like a year, a year and year and year and few months older than I am, right? So, so she was like, "Well, I can't have kids and this and this," and I tried and and all this and all that. And I'm like, "Okay, I'm like, okay, we'll we'll, we'll, okay. we'll fix this. Okay. We'll fix Got this. Got it. Goddamn issue. You know what I mean? We'll fix this." You know what I mean? We'll, we'll fix this issue. I was with her. I found out. I, I found out that she was pregnant. I found out that she was pregnant in uh, 2013 of November. And then she miscarried. She was pregnant like three months and she miscarried. For what reason, I don't know. But she miscarried. And then... After the miscarriage, we tried again, right? So in 2014, she was pregnant, right? In 2014, November 8th, my daughter was born. My nine-year-old daughter was born. So if you look at it, tell me, tell me that... Tell me, I, I'm, my fucking sperm's not good. You, you, you give me a woman that's been trying to have kids for six, seven, eight years. Give me three to four months, three to four months with her, and I guarantee I knock that bitch up. Guarantee. The only ones that I can't knock up, the only ones I can't knock up, is the ones that got themselves fixed and can't have children anymore. Believe me, I've I've been with a bunch of women that has children that got fixed, that can't have any more children, and yeah. So, I mean, like I said, I've I've fucked a lot of women in my lifetime. <laughs> fucked a lot of women. Someone. 
Oh my God. So when a, when a, when a, when a woman says that she can't have kids, <laughs> it's under me. I, I'll show you, I'll show you how fast I get her ass pregnant. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I, I'm, I'm allergic to latex. I'm allergic to latex. With being allergic to latex, that means I can't put on latex gloves or anything that has to do with latex. Condoms and everything. So when these women out here talking about how they... How, how they want to get pregnant. <laughs> Don't send them to me. <laughs> Don't send them to me. I ain't no motherfucking two minute man either. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't no fucking two minute man. Yeah, you're going to be in that bed for hours getting fucked. <laughs> I'm talking about you gonna come out sweating like you went to the motherfucking gym. <laughs> I'm gonna tear that ass up. <laughs> I'm gonna make you do all kinds of motherfucking tricks. I'll teach you so many fucking tricks. Your ass gonna be sore the next motherfucking morning. I'm talking about don't touch me, motherfucker. <laughs> that's how that's how great I am. <laughs> Size ain't gotta do shit. It's what the fuck you can do with it. <laughs> you ever heard of, you ever heard of you ever heard of a bitch complain complain about the size? When she just got dick down dick down like a motherfucker and she's tired and tired and sore and wanna wanna go to bed and shit cause He's so fucking wore out. <laughs> oh man, I'd be wearing chicks out. They come over here walking straight. They leave here bow legged as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'll leave a bitch bow legged. I don't give a fuck. Talk about. Debo, watch out for Debo. Tell you who Debo is. Tear those guts up. <laughs> I'm tear those goddamn guts up. Like I mean, if you look at it, if you if you really look at it, you know what I mean. All that time in prison, all that time in prison, no sex, right? And then come out here to the world. I'm not even out here in the world a fucking year, year or two, I've already got a chick pregnant. Yeah, it's, it's a thousand subscribers now. They changed it. They changed it a few years ago because people was buying subscribers. And and to be honest, I've thought about it myself. But I don't want to be that type of I don't want to be that type of person that sits here and says that I'm not going to do something like that and then turn around and go do it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that type of person. I, I've showed people on this channel and my other channel where you can buy subscribers and followers at. And it's not just for YouTube either. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, um, any live streaming services, you can buy subscribers and followers. Unfortunately, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, that is, that is true. You can.
I just don't want to be that type of person that does it. I, th I thought about making a channel and some dummy account. I thought about making some dummy ass account, something stupid. Go on there and buy all these subscribers just to see if it works. How long, how long would it take for them to detect that they're all paid? You know what I mean? I thought about it. I don't, I don't want to take that chance. I don't want, I don't want to take that chance. Because then people will sit here and say, oh, well, he, he's got all these other YouTube channels. Are they all pay subscribers too? You know, did he pay for all these subscribers? Type of shit. We need... We need 408 bottles. Yep. We need some more bottles. So, I mean, I, I thought about it. I, I really thought about making a dummy account. And spending money on dummy account and uh, do it that way. If it uh, was that seven hundred and sixty-eight. 92. Well, oh, that was a cheap ass pay. Yeah, that was a cheap. Give me really shit. For the 13. Something, something like that. Is Fuck up. Yeah, because I, I thought about it. But then I don't want to be one of those fucking statistics to hear and say all this shit and, you know, and then looking at me like this guy, you know, this way or that way. You know what I mean? I don't need that. But yeah, I, I have, I have thought about it. Think we fill this whole trailer up with these with the with, uh, with the rest of these ones? I think so. I mean, what? I mean, what eight? I think I think we have enough. Do you guys think we got enough to send this one away too? And I got what three more three more spots. Oh, we got two more of these. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Last one. We we still need we still need uh one more.
We can send those pallets. Yeah, we can send a pallet with them. Shit. Oh, drop it. That will be it for that one. Got the old, oh, we got to get those bottles. Oh, I forgot them. <laughs> Twelve thousand three hundred and forty eight. That puts me at the hundred. Yeah. Um, gotta see how many bottles we need. Got a shitload of pallets. How many bottles do you think we need? 408? Right. Oh, we got a negative. This is gonna add they're gonna that wait until it goes back to green. No, they go off it's not how many views you get. It, it's 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 how many subscribers that you have. Like you have to have Okay. In twenty in, in twenty twelve, twenty thirteen, YouTube came out with you had to have you had to have a, a five hundred subscribers, right? You had to have five hundred subscribers so YouTube can start paying you for the videos that you put out, right? Then YouTube started noticing all these people um, doing they was buying subscribers and followers I made a video on it and uh, what was happening is these five or six people that was known on on YouTube like I crazy Teddy uh, um, hike the gamer Lipsy Jimmy um Mr. Boss FTW and 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 some guy from Canada and another Spanish guy um some Spanish guy um Fernando or some shit um they made YouTube streaming real popular now, when they hit 500 subscribers, YouTube was paying them for the videos that they was putting out. Now, when YouTube noticed that they was paying subscribers, paying, like going online and buying subscribers, and then paying to add it to their shit to say, oh, well, you got all these people watching, but really it's bots. YouTube cracked down on... on when you can start getting paid from YouTube. So if you go and look it up in YouTube, now it's required that you must have over a thousand people that subscribe to you. And you gotta be able to hold a following of so much for them to watch your video so you can get paid. Now, the problem with that 
is the reason why these five or six people that I'm talking about, you don't see their videos no more on YouTube because they don't stream no more because they was caught buying subscribers. They had millions and millions and millions of subscribers and followers. But 50% of them was bots. YouTube frowns on that. Okay. So when I noticed it, when I found out about this, um, Twitch also started doing the same thing. So if you go look at Twitch and you see all these motherfuckers supposedly watching that channel at that time, 90% of that time is not that many people in there. You have probably what, maybe 10, 15 people actually chatting in your fucking stream at a time and the rest are just fucking bots. All of the rest of them just bots. View count, chatting count, everything. So that's the reason why YouTube has now mo moved it to a thousand subscribers and you have to be, they have to scan or they have to do something with the YouTube channel to make sure that you do not have any bots in your channel. And that's why it's so hard now for people to make money on YouTube because of the five or six people back in 2013, back in 2012, that fucked it up for everybody on YouTube. That's why. I've been streaming, I've been streaming on YouTube since fucking 2012. So that, that's how you, that's how, how, how long you can, you know, I've been, I've been around. So when people sit up in here and say, oh, well, this guy, he, he, you know, a lot of people don't like me because the fact that I expose motherfuckers on YouTube. Like, I exposed a lot of these people on YouTube. Like, okay, like, let, let, let's do this. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to do this. Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to these people I just, I just spoke about. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you when the last time these motherfuckers actually stream. They, they don't stream no more. Yeah, they don't, they don't stream anymore. And what's crazy is on my other channel, on my, on my other YouTube channel, I used to follow them. That's how I found out a bunch of this shit. Ike. What is it, H? Yeah, there it is, right there. This guy's got two million, two million subscribers, right? Here's one of them right here. And then he's got another one down here, 956K. Now, now the, he's got, he's, he's got multiple channels, just like I do. He's got multiple channels. So hike the, hike the player, hike the gamer, hike, whatever the fuck you want to say. Um, like this guy, if you go and you look at, if you go look at when, when he was, when, when he came out, um, Hey, where is it at? Where's the information on it? Ike plays. Things coming. Thirteen days ago. 
So he does still put out videos. Okay, so you got that one. Um, you got that one. You got Hike the Gamer. Previously on Grand Theft Daily. And and you notice and you notice it, it's all they made it big off of Grand Theft Auto. Everybody I'm about to show you made it big off of Grand Theft Auto. All their videos was all Grand Theft Auto, dude. All of them. Look how many. Look how much shit it is, dude. Like all they made videos, all, all their shit was, you know what I mean. 343 views? Come on, man. Or 340,000? Come on. Let's go to... Uh, uh, let's go to... Um, I, cra I Crazy Teddy. There's another one that fucked up the internet. Now, 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 do you think that kid right there is even old enough to be on fucking YouTube? And, and, and they boasting, they boasting about how they got a YouTube button. Like, you should be ashamed. Yeah, you, you should be a fucking shame. Of, of how you got the fucking button in the first place. Like, this dude, this, this dude made nothing but videos. This dude made nothing... But videos off of GTA 5. Everything, every, every fucking, every fucking video that this guy has is off of fucking GTA 5. Every one of them, dude. And then he's getting into, getting into, into, um, that yeah, Call of Duty and all that shit. See, clickbaiting. This is the shit that I'm talking about. This shit right here. You know goddamn well the symptoms don't have no bitch sitting on her goddamn knees scrubbing the motherfucking floor with a fucking cop eat a bunch of fucking donuts and a goddamn siren. That's clickbaiting. That, that, when, you, when you have to throw extra shit into your videos to get people to come watch your videos because you're so fucking desperate of getting views, that shit is clickbait. Like fucking, the fucking clickbaiters, dude. Clickbaiting, not the clickbaiting, not the clickbaiting, not the clickbaiting. And they use mod menus in GTA 5. I'm gonna show you another one. I'm gonna show you another one. I'm gonna show you another one. Mr. Boss FTW, if you don't know who the fuck this guy is, he, he, he is a fucking, he, he is a motherfucker that is a, Rockstar ass kissing motherfucker. Hold on, Shania Twain. Hold on, Shania Twain. Because I like the song. Hold, hold the fuck on, Shania Twain. So, so Mr. Boss FTW, if you don't know who this fucking clown is, he's a white piece of shit motherfucker. That, um, that has been leaking information to the people since. Tw since GTA 5 came out, he's leaked information um, on GTA 5. He's leaked information on GTA 4, San Andreas. Um, he's leaked information on Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2. He, he's a he's a fan. Fa uh, he's a fanboy that is up Rockstar's ass 24/7. That plays on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. I know, because I played against the motherfucker in most most of his lobbies, and gone into his lobbies and blowed his shit up. Um, so he does. He only likes to do private lobbies that he's good friends with because this motherfucker right here puts out videos claiming that he doesn't use no bots. He doesn't use no um fucking other shit to see shit. Now, if you've been around as long as I as I have, that has been on GTA 5 when GTA first came out on fucking PlayStation, and Xbox. Um, when if you noticed, if you noticed in GTA 5, there was no 
bunker DLC that was ever coming out um, until this jackass right here decided to download some mod menus and make a video about how he's not using mod menus but he's showing all the locations of where all the bunkers DLC that actually came out a few weeks later because he made a video on it he leaked it to 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 YouTube and, and all these other people and, and they all watched it and that's how I found out about the DLCs for the bunker that was coming out in GTA 5 now if you remember when Rockstar officially came out with it um we was all looking at ourselves like how did Mr. Boss FTW know all the locations of where these fucking bunkers was going to be at? And this motherfucker showed it in his video of all the locations where all these bunkers was going to be. Not only did he show you a video of where these bunkers was going to be at, he also showed you where the faculty buildings was going to be at. He showed you where the, where the arcade buildings was going to be at. He showed you where the... um the um the uh dlc for the uh office the to be uh uh um to have an office and, and a bunch of all these garages and all this shit this motherfucker is one of the biggest leaking son of a bitches in gta 5 now this desperate son of a bitch went out Rented a fucking green Lamborghini, drove it back to his house, took a fucking video and made a video on it and posted it to his fucking channel talking about how he has a lime green Lamborghini that looks just like it in GTA 5. That he supposedly owned it. Come to find out a few weeks later. He was exposed because he rented it from the Lamborghini place. That's how bad this motherfucker is. Just to get views. Just to get views that this, this fucking guy is a fanboy clickbaiting motherfucker. He's a clickbaiter. He, he does nothing but clickbaits. He's got multiple, he's got multiple YouTube channels. He's got multiple everything. Um... He, he talks about people leaking this and leaking that, but he's the number one fucking leaker in video games. Rockstar, Rockstar, I don't see how this motherfucker was ever still, you know what I mean? Like, like, like check this out, GTA 6 trailer? He, he just posted this shit 22 hours ago. And then this one was two months ago that he just posted like, this dude's nothing but a fucking leaker. Anything that comes out for Red Dead does the same shit. He does the same. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you his fucking. Um, what's the other guy that dislikes this? Um, where's, the, where's the other one at? There is a guy that used to. Check this out. There's a guy. There's a guy that lives in Canada. That went out of his way to plaster Mr. Balls, Mr. Balls FTW's face on a coffee mug, on a whiskey bottle, on a pillowcase, uh, on a hat, a t-shirt, wallpaper. Um, he's from Canada. I don't fucking remember his motherfucking name, dude. Um, but this guy is one of Mr. Boss's biggest fucking rivals. And here here's 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 Lipsy Jimmy. You guys remember this fucking clown? You remember this fucking clown right here? This this motherfucker right here, Lipsy Jimmy. He gets mad and destroys his fucking Xbox and his PlayStation and his PC on live stream. Like, literally destroys it. You know why? You know why he does it? Because he's got a bunch of systems. 
So what he does is go out, he go, goes out and buys 10 tons of PlayStations and 10 tons of Xboxes, and he has 10 tons of PCs, right? When motherfuckers are trolling him in his videos, they fuck, he trashes his shit, dog. So he literally cries on his fucking stream. When Fortnite came out, oh, he went from GTA 5 fanboy, clickbaiting, crybaby on GTA 5 to motherfucking fanboy, crybaby, clickbaiter on fucking Fortnite. He's the biggest between this clown and the last clown I just showed you. I don't see how these two, you know, can make it in. You know, like, like I said, these guys are clowns. I mean, his girlfriend, his girlfriend's fucking hot as fuck. I I'll fuck her. Don't get me wrong. I mean, his girlfriend's hot as fuck, you know? But, I mean, look look at this fucking clown. Look at this, look at this guy. Right, look, look at this fucking clown. He lived, he lived at his parents' house for decades until he moved out with his girlfriend. And then his girlfriend found out how really this fucking clown is. He, he's, a, he's another one that fucked up the fucking internet with, with YouTube. So all the ones that I'm showing you is the ones that fucked up shit for you. You can thank these clowns. All, all these fucking clowns that had to do with the YouTube back when it first came out with being paid. Look, he even talking about Mr. Boss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, it, it's fucking it, that. So, I mean, it... it like I said, I've been around, I've been around, I, I've been around in the motherfucking system. I, I've been around, I've been around for a long time. To actually be able to sit up in here and show you, to actually be able to sit up in here and show you the shit that I have to, that I show you. Come on, man. That's how long I've been around in GTA 5. I've been out in GTA 5 when GTA 5 first came out on fucking PS4 because I had a PS4 first gen and and I played I played fucking GTA 4 or GTA 5. I've played every GTA that's ever been put out. Like I said, I'm <laughs> there ain't shit out here that you, you can't tell me about these fuck boys. These little fan, these little fanboys for for been around way too long. That's that's why that's why I say. That's why I say you can think, these clowns are fucking the internet up for everybody. Because they're the ones that did it. After 500 subscribers, after 500 subscribers, they was getting paid. It's because of them, it's because of them, why you have to get a thousand subscribers. Because they use bots in their shit. They use bots in their shit. They was reporting people, they was falsifying on people, they was... Getting people banned off of Rockstar. Miss, you, you gotta watch out for Mr. Boss. That motherfucker will will get your account banned. If you if you on PC, G, uh, PlayStation, or, or, or Xbox, and that motherfucker's in the lobby, you get a chance to blow his ass up. Blow him up. Every motherfucking time. Blow that motherfucker up. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I mean, I'm subscribed to them, as you can see. I was subscribed to all of them fucking clowns. But, I mean, it just shows you, shows you. Shows you how fucked up shit. Everybody forgot about them. Like, when you, when you, when you, when you talk to other gamers, like when you talk to other gamers on the microphone about these guys, they're like, Who's, who is this? Who is that? Because they don't want to remember how they fucked up the internet. And you know what you know the, the bad thing about Mr. Boss is? He was still in his neighbor's internet. 
<laughs> he was still in his neighbor's internet so he could make videos for GTA 5. He made a video. He made a video one time about how he's still in his neighbor's internet. And his neighbor caught him. His neighbor caught him one time doing it. I, I, I don't know. I would have whooped his ass. <laughs> I would have whooped his ass. Yeah, I don't want the day. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I was listening to tonight's point. Got a hair day. Five million times. We can say, yeah. Yeah, I like it that way. Any man of mine, all the line, do me. Go, as it goes. It didn't matter, mom, but it just so agree when I think better than me. Black man. I like it like that, Joe. It changed my mind a million times. Yeah, 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 I like it that way. It didn't matter. Fine, alive, do me a teasing, squeezing, teasing, you know, out of way go. You know. Ah. Got it to me, shake like an earthquake. Dick. Turn, bump, stump. Don't sit down. Anymore, come on, buddy. On four. One, two, a three, four. What? <laughs> mm mm. Need a man of mine. Oh, I can't move it too. I can't move. It. Oh, there it goes. That I can't move it. I put that. I put that ad blocker spam sh on. Oh man, I like it.
do it anyway. Hey. Hey. Can't get these fucking things apart. I can't get them fucking apart. Or. Hey. 257. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause you, cause you used to be able to do all kinds of stuff in GTA 5. You notice, you notice in GTA 5, everything used to be cheap, right? When it first came out, you could buy all the cars, you could buy all the clothes, you could buy all the garages and shit like that, right? Then when people started doing all the glitching and the hacking and all the shit that was going on, and they all got it from PC players, cause PC players would make videos. Of how to do wall breaches and glitches, duplication glitches, um, car glitches, money glitches, clothes glitches, um, and all that shit, right? So, there's a guy on TikTok right now that does wall breaching glitches, and he shows people how to do the glitches, right, in GTA 5. So, I've seen his video on, talk t on TikTok multiple times, right? So I go into his chat and, and I send him a fucking message in his chat for everybody to see. And I told the dude, I said, hey, guy, GTA 5 came out decades ago. You're over here showing people how to do wall glitches when there's 35 different wall glitches in GTA 5. You're old news, guy. You're old news trying to get trying to get uh, uh, views off of old news. And he sends me, he, he, he replies to me and says, dude, that's fucked up. I'm just trying to make money on TikTok. What? What, showing people old shit? You know what I mean? Show something new, dude. Show, show something new that people have not seen in GTA 5. Show, show people new, uh, the new players uh, of shit in GTA, how to make money the right way. Stop showing videos of how to do wall glitches and breaches and, and shit and he's like well this is how I make my money on on TikTok I said dude you're whack you're whack guy do something better I asked him did you buy did you buy GTA 5 just so you could make videos on old shit he's like no I said you're bullshit dude you're, you're so full of shit <laughs> you're so full of shit And like, like I was telling, like I was telling everybody, I was telling everybody how you can go in GTA 5 on PC, right? And I've showed everybody how to do it. Go on to story mode, then go on to online, go into only invite sessions. Now, if you don't know, you can also do that in consoles. Because my Xbox is sitting over there on the floor hooked up to the TV and I went and paid for the subscription I said I wasn't going to but I did anyways um so I got the subscription for the Xbox right now my first thing was 
is I jumped on GTA 5, went on the story story mode, and then I went to only invite, and then I went into the only invite session, and I was doing exactly the same shit that I do on PC on the consoles. So you don't need to, you you don't need to go on GTA 5 anymore in open lobbies to make money. Selling drugs, doing all the businesses and all that shit. You could do all that in an only invite session. You don't need to go you don't need to go online anymore. Or go in open lobbies anymore. That shit that shit's whack. Cause you got you got new people. You got new people in there trying to make a name for themselves. You know, by blowing your shit up. Because they're a noob. That's so crazy. Well, I mean, it's it's not. I mean, GTA is fun and shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I spend hours and hours on that game. I spend hours and hours on that fucking game. If it was... If I wasn't too concerned about my viewership, I would play that game every day on PC just to show how I can buy everything the right way in GTA 5 without playing with anybody, without doing anything with anybody. Without doing any hacks and glitches and mods and you know what I mean? Like I could spend hours and hours on the fucking game, but I just don't do it anymore. My highest profile on GTA 5, I think it was what 800, 864 I think it was, somewhere around there. They announced they announced GTA 5 ain't coming out until 2026, 2027. So Yep. I highly, I highly doubt anybody's gonna be sitting around waiting for that shit. Oh, we just let them finish doing what they're doing. I'm gonna go check down there in the bottom. Go check down there in the bottom. With Yeah, there is a there is a, a, a mission. Yeah, there's a mi there's a mission on on uh, GTA Five that I like I like doing. You use a tank. Yeah, you use a tank with it. Hey, is this motherfucker doing anything? Cause this seems like he's not doing shit, dude. Standing around with his dick in his fucking hand. Put it back out. Put it back over here.
See, they don't they don't follow you no more. So they must have fixed that because I used to remember what was it uh, the last time I was on here. Like when I clicked on on this guy or the other guys, and then you send them to go to places, then they come and follow you, and then you have to tell them to go back to work. They fixed it, I guess. What the fuck was that there, guy? How do you throw a bag down here? Look at him, look at him, watch, watch. He don't even walk up the stairs, look at this. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Are, are you serious? Look, he doesn't even walk up the stairs, he goes right there. Look, watch. Wow. Holy shit. Game has just changed. <laughs> the fucking game just changed. <laughs> That's real tennis. <laughs> I tell you these fucking NPCs. <laughs> Up. Oh man! There's so many bottles. And there's so many bottles. Oh shit! And stacky, stacky here. I don't know why this one don't come apart. Of location doesn't do it. Fix it, it picks it both of them. I have to take it over here. Check this out, put it over there, right? Wow, it still does it. Okay, now you're gonna give me a separate one. Hmm. Okay, you're broken. <laughs> you're broken. Oh, look at that. I can pick up one. So when they're stacked on two, they don't come apart. Let me see. Let me check this theory out here. Check out this theory here. Oh, look at that. So that one over there must be fucking broken. <laughs> must be broken. Get off the box. Get off. Get over there. Up, down, up, down. Get off my. Mm -hmm. I was watching, I was watching, uh, watching your video or Blueberry's video. One was playing Truck Simulator, and the other one was playing, um, what's her damn, what's, uh, Left Behind? That was watching those videos. That was watching those videos. I pushed a like on one of them. I don't remember which one. I was half asleep when I was watching it. 
I was I was half asleep, but I watched the videos. Somewhat, <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> Are they done? Look like they're done. They don't tell me they went through all those bottles that quick, or the shit that quick. Sure did. Wow. Holy shit. And he's just gonna hold the box, huh? We'll put the box back on the fucking crate. Wait, hey, we going with the box? He gonna just take the box with him, huh? Wow. He just gonna take off with the product, huh? <laughs> he's gonna take off the. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> that's not even a truckload, dude. Yeah, that's not even a fucking truckload. Still missing seven crates. Ah, oh, baby, tonight. Hey, look, look. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I'm in a coffin. Baby, tonight. If you buy one of these machines and put, put it over there, that's a thousand bucks. That's a thousand bucks for one of these machines. <laughs> I love this money. I need three bucks. Be my baby. Waiting on this guy. They're still waiting on this fucking guy, dude. I'm back. Uh, she's she's mad at me. Yeah, she's mad at me. Yeah, she's mad at me.
I think so. I, I think so. I'm not too sure. Man, I've played... I've played too many games, too. Yeah, I, I've played a lot of games. <laughs> a lot of games. Way too many games to uh, beat me. <laughs> guy doing? Toss this fucking bag at him. Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, I had his ass. Fucking ass. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of these pallets. A lot of pallets have. This shit. What the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I was gonna do another one over here, but I mean, this guy's taking forever. If one of the bottle guys can come yeah, down here and help his fucking ass, enjoying the show. Hm? That'd be great. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out: is he taking the boxes? Because he's not taking the boxes off the racks. Take he's taking, stuff. he's taking shit from here, which he's not supposed to. Hey, yeah, you're not supposed to take shit. Take it from the damn racks. It's okay. What are you doing down here? You don't need to look at it every time. Go ass up there to tuck. He's... This motherfucker. Hey, did he move the crate? Oh, no, he didn't move the crate. The crate gets really low. Oh, the pallet gets really low, so it starts stacking over there. I see. He doesn't want to go on there. <laughs> he doesn't want to go on there. <laughs> it was upside down. <laughs> oh. He sent me a picture of her. Hey, you see the picture? So you guys will be thinking I'd be bullshitting that I'm talking to Oscar. <laughs> hey, you you seen the picture, right? <laughs> you seen the picture, right? Oh, I turned the damn fucking keyboard off. I was hoping she grows out her hair. I was hoping she'd grow her hair back out. And it, that'd be nice. Yeah, that that would be that would be definitely nice if she grew her hair back out.
guy keeps putting these damn bits over here. We're gonna end up making a full pallet. Bam. <laughs> Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there, you little fucking bitch. Out of here. This guy's gonna... Watch he gets down to like... Half the thing he's gonna, gonna dis it's gonna go over there. <sighs> yeah, cause we can make a damn there. I sold those. I sold those fucking racks, dude. Look, check this out. What? No, not not that. Move object? Stay up. <laughs> we can sell those two on the right. Dude still has a hundred and ten to go. He still got a hundred and ten to go. Fuck, we were waiting all day with this. I think we're gonna put. I'm gonna go up there and get that other guy. Then I'm gonna go up there and get that other guy and drag his ass down here. It. Put him on the on this one. That does. We don't need two bottle fuck. <laughs> we don't need to. Get this guy or. I'm going to get him. One with me. One there, guy. Come on, bottle fucker. <laughs> Who's standing around? Let's see if what this guy is gonna do cuz every time I put another guy down here this one leaves which I don't understand why Take my stuff. All the pallet disappeared.
I need five. Guy's slow, dude. Fast as I can go down here and pick this shit up, and he looks, he looks at how many there. I can pick up twice as many he can, dump them in there before he even fucking gets it. That's how slow this. Hundred and eight. 108 he had fucking 80 when I started That just shows you how many that just shows you how many I've already put up there Well this Jennifer five from <laughs> gonna have to get some more. guys hear about the um, UPS firing gonna be firing a shitload of people they're gonna they're gonna swap them out they're gonna swap them out with AIs robots yeah they're gonna be replaced with robots oh it disappeared No, I think I think honestly I, I I really I really think honestly if they do that if, if they choose to go with robots over humans A lot of these people are gonna be out of a job. Take my stuff. Did you come down here and drop a trash bag? bag <laughs> I got him there hoping that lady doesn't come the inspection lady yeah the inspection lady she <laughs> uh. 
Got him again. Hey, okay, I got it. I'm leaving. Touchdown! Oh. <laughs> All right, let's. Boxes up here. Great. Wonder, I wonder if she wondering. If <laughs> Come on, damn it. Body living by my after. in his right mind would have left her crazy me kill me unless you're crazy like me <laughs> yeah look at all these pallets we got we got a shitload here and we got a shitload down there and We should play it, pay the, right? Pay the employee. Body in his right mind, put it left her. Uh, body. Fucking green ones. I'm gonna do three hundred on. Hold it. Ten thousand just for the green ones. I'm not saying, I mean, in my opinion, if they do the robots, if they do the robot thing, to be honest, a lot of people will be out of jobs. And, and in a way, I'm not saying in a way that would be great, but you'll probably get better satisfaction, better quality, Quicker work done, and you get shit done a lot quicker with AIs. Not not saying that they're shit. Not not saying that they're the greatest, but I think I think if they did the the AIs, to be honest. Watch how many people will kill each other. Like, watch how many motherfuckers die, dude. B 
because of AIs taking over. You, you talking about mass killing now? I mean, look. Okay, look at look, look at the Super Bowl, right? Look at the Super Bowl. Kansas Chiefs win, right? Which they wasn't supposed to win. So the Kansas Chiefs win. What the fucking person do outside the parking lot? In in the in the parking lot, it shoots up the parking lot, right? If you guys ain't heard about it, yeah. So on the Super Bowl, in the parking lot that had the Kansas Chiefs and the 49ers, there was a mass shooting. I think it was uh, one or two people dead, six or seven critical, and a child died. They're not talking about how... They're, they're not talking about how... At least 10 or 15 people got injured all their all their main main concern is is a child died from a gunman at the Super Bowl and then if you look at the Super Bowl if you look at the Super Bowl there wasn't no regular people there it was all celebrities tickets was it was selling for 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 just the basic just the basic to watch the, the football game was going for what six seven eight thousand dollars come on dude just just to watch the fucking football game in in the stadium cost six seven eight ten twelve thirteen there was one lady that came on the news and said she paid her paid for two tickets that cost her fifteen thousand dollars just to watch the fucking football game who the fuck is gonna spend that much money to go watch a football game? Fuck that. It's not worth my money. Fuck, hell no. Definitely not worth my fucking money. The NFL is not worth my fucking... fucking money to be sending out like that. Fuck that shit. Dude. That's just stupid. You gonna spend thirteen, fifteen to a million dollars on a fucking ticket? You gotta be stupid. I wouldn't waste my goddamn time on that shit. Knowing knowing that it, it was all and, and and you keep listening and you keep listening and you're hearing the script. The script. Okay. Okay, they have they have baseball scripts, they have NFL scripts, they have basketball scripts, they have uh, WWE scripts. Like you hear, you hear about everything is planned before you even go to this shit. And people are still going to it. Why? It's all scripted. It's already staged. Everything is staged. NFL staged. Fucking basketball's fucking staged. Everything. It's all a joke. Sports. Sports, in my opinion, is. They just need to get rid of it. Get rid of the sports. It's not. It's no longer. It's no longer a fun. A fun sport. When you're paying people to look the other way to throw a fucking game. Back in the day, if Michael Jordan threw a game, oh, that 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 be the biggest thing in the fucking world to be talked about. But now in 2023, 2024, they're not they're, they're not wanting to talk about how they are paid to throw the fucking game, like like the New York Jets, like like the Jets, they was pissed the fuck off. The Eagles, they was pissed the fuck off. Some of the, some of their players was as mad as a motherfucker. The 49ers, the 49ers players was mad as a motherfucker because they was all sitting there saying the same thing. It's all fucking planned. Everything. So when you go out here and you try to watch a game, a, a, a game that's supposed to be fun to watch, to spend your money to, take your kid to, um, to enjoy the game, it's all paid for, dude. Why? Why? Why go to the football game or the basketball game like baseball? They used to have different signals 
different sounds banging on trash cans world series war world series baseball did you ever hear about that world series how they was cheating in the world series the astros astros was cheating in the fucking world series um uh, and in, in, in all these other in all these other motherfucking uh the 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 astros was cheating uh uh fucking uh the new york yankees was cheating they had like uh they would bang on a trash can when it was going to be like a curveball or they was going or they make some fucking calling noise to be like it's going to be a a a a, cur a, a fastball or if it's going to be this or that type of ball that was being thrown they would make all kinds of noise on the sidelines in, in the in the dugout and and they was talking about it decades de i mean fucking baseball baseball is fucked baseball's fucked basketball's fucked you had you had motherfucking nba players uh making videos making videos about how you could stand on the other side of the court and throw the fucking ball and the basketball go right in the fucking hoop not even trying because it was magnetized they had <clears throat> they had uh magnetized the basketball made the basketball more heavier but it was magnetized where you throw it at the basketball either, either one of them and it automatically goes into the rim because the rim also was magnetized for the ball to drop in every time then the nfl then the nfl came out with these fucking gloves right come out with these fucking gloves that when they catch the ball it automatically catches the ball for the players because the players are bitching about how they was dropping the fucking football all the time because they can't catch a fucking ball but that's what they paid millions and millions of dollars for to play in the nfl right to catch the fucking football that is their fucking job in the nfl well if you're getting paid that big much big big amount of money and you can't catch a fucking football and then all of a sudden you put these magical gloves on and you catching the balls left and right you know backwards upside down whatever the fuck you doing and, and then you're all famous on the uh, on the nfl talking about, oh his game just got better his game didn't get better his, his game got more shittier could you help him with shit that is is against the rules it's against the rules to use shit like that it's against the rules to use some sap shit that they do put on the baseball to to make the baseball turn more you know what i mean so i mean they're cheating nfl's cheating baseball's cheating they're all fucking cheating why why would i spend my hard-earned money on a fucking game that's cheating you know what I mean like like why why would I go sit at a football game that they're gonna cheat anyways people been talk about all oh, the prediction of this game or prediction prediction of that Spongebob Squarepants okay if you guys don't know uh, Nickelodeon had some fucking funny they want to do some funny shit on the on, on the uh, big screen of the, of the NFL right with SpongeBob and Crab, Mr. Krabs, and and um, Star uh, Patrick Star, and if you watch SpongeBob, then you know what the fuck I'm talking about. If you don't, then you're fucking lost. <laughs> you're, you're you're lost. Um, <laughs> but the thing of it is, is they had SpongeBob evidently predicted the score of the OT time. And, and and they was right. It was twenty two to twenty five. Now the other thing is that they're talking about how the 49ers didn't understand the new rules of the over overtime. I remember I remember when it went into overtime, first one get a touchdown or the first one scores the fucking first points, that's game. No, no, no! They fucking changed it up in the middle of the of, of the middle of the fucking game, and then not only that, not only that, they turned around and, and 
and added more time on the clock and shit like that, then if you look at Patrick Mahomes' uh, helmet, okay, you look at Patrick Mahomes' helmet, on the left side of it, it's cracked, it's broken, right? It states in the rules and regulations, any equipment that is broken or cracked or needs to be replaced, the player must sit out at least one turn of the game or, or the gameplay before he can come back in after replacing the equipment. No, what the fuck this motherfucker do? Walk to the sideline, takes off his helmet, grabs another helmet, puts it on, and walks the fuck out there. If anybody else would have done that shit, they would have sent him. To, they would have sent his ass out. They would have sent his ass out. But see, Patrick Malone, uh, Patrick Malone, and motherfucking, uh, uh goddamn, uh, uh, Taylor Swift and all them little devil, devil fucks. And then, and then you got, then you got motherfucking, then you got the halftime show. Come on, man. Like, if you didn't notice that Alicia Keys is pregnant, out there dancing, dancing with, with who? The child molester, right? The, the child rapist, Arca uh, fucking Usher, right? You know, that touches on little girls and shit, you know? Um, oh, that's R. Kelly, my bad. <laughs> Wrong person. <laughs> Wrong person. Uh, <laughs> you might as well, but I mean, uh, fucking... Uh, Usher, Usher's married. Now, if you ever seen Usher's wife without any makeup, oh, that bitch is ugly as a motherfucker. That bitch looks like she's been hit with fucking 20, 20, 20 ugly sticks and still gets more uglier every time you hit the bitch. She's an ugly bitch. Like, she's a real, real ugly, uh, ugly, dumb fucking hoe. And she was watching, she was watching the halftime dance and shit. With, with with Usher and, and Alicia Keys. I've never seen Alicia Keys ever happy the way she was so fucking happy uh, dancing and performing with Usher. Like, she was so happy that she could wet her fucking drawers. Like, that's how happy she was. Um, you know, and, and everybody was talking about that and shit. I mean... I just think, I just think sports is overrated, overrated. Um, and then, and okay, let, let's let's talk about WWE, right? Okay, you want to talk about entitlement? The Rock made a video or or, or set a video on what's his uh Pat McAfee's Pat McAfee uh. Uh, broadcast that he said he didn't give a damn what the fucking fans wanted. It's, he he was saying that it was best interest. It was the best interest for the Rock and uh and uh, Roman Reigns to fight in the world in in the in the uh fucking thing of what is it fifty eight. WrestleMania 58 or whatever. Um, that it'd be the most exciting thing in the world, right? And then they would talk about the, the family tree this and the family tree that and all this bullshit and how it's okay for The Rock and, 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 and his family to talk shit about uh, Cody Rhodes and, and his family and all this, but it's not okay for... For, for, you know, it's not okay for Cody Rhodes to talk shit about their family. Like, I mean, I, I just, I, I would not, I would break character. I, I would break character on that stage and bust his fucking head open. To be honest, I would bust his fucking head open. Talk shit about, talk shit about my family. On, on live camera. I mean, I understand that a lot of that shit, you know, wrestling's fake and, and and shit like that. But at least if if you're gonna do disrespect somebody's shit, 
don't run back there to Triple H and whine and cry and tell Triple H, well, if you don't fix this, they will. Like, what are you saying? Because The Rock sits on the board of WWE that he can do whatever the fuck he wants to? You don't see Triple H that's been sitting on the board that that is a head boss uh, doing whatever the fuck he wants. When, when is it... What is it okay for all these motherfuckers to do what they fuck they want? Because because of what they're going on in the world right now, so they think they could be entitled? Fuck that. I don't give a fuck how much fans you got or how much money that the WWE pays you or how many dicks you put up your fucking ass or 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 or, or, or way you swing or, or, or what the fuck you is. No one has the right to do what the fuck The Rock did, nor does does Roman Reigns have the right to do what the fuck they've been doing. You know, if, if that was the case, what was the whole point of them doing? What was the whole point of them doing? Uh, uh, the fucking uh, the Royal Rumble before. What was the whole point of them putting 30, 30 motherfuckers in the ring? To fight to go to WrestleMania, to be in the main event of WrestleMania, to get to get the the title, for what? So you can have your fucking relative come out and 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 take over and say fuck you, you worked your ass off for it, so fuck you, I'm gonna take over. You know, I mean that that's entitlement, dude. That's entitlement. That's the shit that I hate. That's the shit I hate about fucking people, dude. Entitlement thinking because they can throw their money around they can do whatever the fuck they want to I don't know why I came over here. <laughs> I don't know why I came over here <laughs> Um, But I mean that's that's entitlement that's straight-up fucking entitlement You know and it's very aggravating You know you you watch it on TV. I mean I understand that wrestling's fake. Fuck, I've been watching wrestling since I was a child. I know it's fake. I, I know the shit's fake. You know? I mean, I sit here and I watch. Like, like I sit here and I talk to, uh, I talk to Oscar, right? I talked to Oscar and I told Oscar, I said, hey. I told her, I said, uh, great match, you know, great match and everything, but... You guys got to make it more realistic. You got to make it more realistic for people to buy the shit you're selling. Because if you look at it, if you look at it, they're, they're taking, they're taking like the women when they wrestled, you know what I mean? When, when the, when, when the women wrestle, you notice they crawl around the mat looking for the referee. Or looking for where where the other opponent is, and then and then they tap each other to give them signals, and then they uh, try to cover their face while they're while they're talking to each other on the mat, and and you notice and you notice it like people in the stands don't really notice it, you know they don't see it, but on TV when you got a camera that close up to you, and you notice all the moves that are being taken place. You know what I mean? You got to make it more realistic than the shit that they're doing. They're taking too much time going from rope to rope, jumping here, jumping there, doing this, doing that. It's it's all staged, yeah. And they practice it. They they practice it on they they practice it like after after their matches on Monday and Friday, they they practice new moves or whatever moves. On Tuesday and Wednesday, you know what I mean, and, and Saturday and Sunday, they they practice moves, and then it, you you could tell, you could tell that it's being staged, you could tell that it's being scripted, of what move they're gonna do here, what move they're gonna do there, uh, when they're gonna do this, it's all scripted, dude. It's not like it used to be run out there and hit motherfucker with a chair, bash him the fuck up. You get your little fake palette, a little fake bowl of uh, uh, blood, you know, the little ink, the little blood packs thing that they used to use, like when they get punched in the mouth and their mouth starts bleeding and shit, 
it's a blood it's a blood pack pack thing that they used to put in their mouth or when they used to have the tax and shit like uh big Forley and and shit jumping off the top of the the cage in the in the into tax and and tables and shit and i mean everything it, it's not like it used to be wrestling's dying out dude all, all you look at all the wrestlers that was on monday night in raw they're all going to tnt or impact racing uh wrestling or um nxt or you know what i mean and, and you look at them you look at you look at all the ones that are over there road dog jesse james uh x Pac, uh fucking um uh hollywood hulk hogan uh in, in all the famous ones that's been around the, in the business for decades they're all over there in in the NXT wrestling, they're not even no longer in, in in the Raw or Monday, you know, Friday or Monday night wrestling. They're all in NXT because it's all bullshit over there. It's all bullshit over there. Same people keep winning every week. Titles are not being changed. People are just doing whatever the fuck they want. Uh, it's all scripted. It's all, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. That's it. It's all bullshit. And, and see, I was, I was talking, I was talking to Oscar about it. I told, I told Oscar about it. I told her I said, great match, but they need to do more. I mean, they need to do they need to do more to to be more realistic. And I told her that I said, because I don't think she, I, I I guess she thought that I thought that wrestling was real. So now she knows that I know it's fake. She knows that. So, you know, I mean, it, it just, a lot of shit's fake, man. You got fake news, fake media, fake sports. Fucking everything's fake now, dude. It's all fucking fake, dude. Man, it's all fucking fake. Everything, dude. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like watching WWE. I like. I, I've been a fan of WWE. Actually, I've been a fan of wrestling since WCW and WWF. That's how long I've been a fan. I've never been to a wrestling match. I, I've I've met Hollywood Hulk Hogan in. Um. Uh, I met Hollywood Hulk Hogan in the. Uh, Airport one time as a child Macho Man Randy Savage uh, Ric Flair and, and all them I, I met all them in a in the airport one time Yeah, I, I met all I met all those guys Andrea the Giant and uh, McFoley um, like I've met a lot of wrestlers. I met a lot of wrestlers as a child, but never, never as an adult. I mean, you can look at, look at Randy Orton, right? Look at Randy Orton. He was on the shelf for two years. That dude is too old to be wrestling. And you notice, you notice all the women. You notice all the women. Liv Morgan, she's over 50. Uh, Mia, Mia Chain, she's over 50. You got Asuka, 41. You got, uh, Ripley. Uh, she, she's what, 40-something? In her, in her, I think 30-something or 40-something? You got Bailey, that's in, that's close in her 40s. 
you got uh the man uh that's uh Becky Lynch that's that just came back from having a kid during Kova with um Seth Rollins that they're both they're both fucked up and and ready to retire. You got Nia Jax. You got Nia Jax that's overweight as a motherfucker. Now if she puts her if she puts her weight into into wrestling, she could she could be better than what she is. But they pay them to to not. They pay them to throw their matches. Me, I I hate that. Me personally, I. You couldn't pay me enough money to throw a fucking back. I just, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. So, I mean, people are, you know, they're paying them off. Everybody's, I think the only person that isn't in their 40s or close to their 40s is, um, is, um, a town down Austin Theory. Austin Theory, I think he's the only he's the youngest he's the youngest one in there. All the other ones are all old. Okay, I wanna go flying today. Thank you. Thank you there, motherfucker. Thanks. Appreciate you help me. Thumbs up. Um but I mean I mean if you look at it Everything's rigged, dude. Like TV shows and movies, like like movies and shit like that. I be trying. See, this is what I do. I be trying to look for shit that's not it. You know, that's out of the ordinary. With like movies, like when I watch movies, I li I literally like pay attention to their moves, and and. All the little combat and shit that they do, all the action that they do, you know what I mean? Like I, I pay attention to a lot of shit. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> but I mean, it's not it's not worth the money nowadays. To buy to buy cable TV or try to be in the business of shit that's going on, it's just not worth it. I guarantee, I guarantee your wrestling will die out before I'm 50 years old. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet wrestling will die out before I'm 50? <laughs> I mean, look at the ticket prices. Look at the ticket prices going up for, for wrestling. Food prices. For, the, for, for that shit, you know? Um, I don't know. I just find it crazy. I just, there's so much fake shit out here in this world, man. There's so much fake shit in this world. But people are so fucking blind. They're, they're so used to seeing what they see. They don't realize. Like, there is a chick on TikTok. There's a chick, chick on TikTok that I, was, that I was looking. I was just flipping through TikTok. Fucking... And this chick popped up on there talking about how she just realized how everything is fake. <laughs> like, you, you didn't catch that years ago? You didn't catch that like 20 years ago? Even NASCAR, I mean, racing, racing cars and like NASCAR, Indy and all them. It is just all crap
gaming industry's gone to shit. Like, I mean, everything's gone to shit, dude. Like, everything's gone to shit. I guess, I guess that's what happens when people wake up. They wake up and they see the truth. Oh, oh, it's gonna fall down. Oh no, it's falling down. <laughs> My car. Remember, you say, love with you, baby. Oh, your name. Love with you, baby. Know your name. You do this. That's true. Baby, you come. Love with you, baby. Know your name. I can I can already hear I can already hear it now. YouTube's gonna send me a notification saying misleading information. <laughs> Watch, they're gonna fuck around and send me that shit. They're gonna tell me it's misinformation. Misinformation. Who the hell are you? Waitress. This thing not the same. There are two ways you even know your name. There are two ways know her name. In actual. Wait, there are two ways you know your name. Music. I mean, this new music shit? Oh man. Garbage. Fucking garbage new music man. I'm not a fan of this new shit. It's all crap. All oh, it is is crap nowadays. Oh, it's all crap nowadays. Just walk to the goddamn thing, huh? Why are you taking pallets from that side? Putting them over there when you got pallets. Oh, whatever. Do whatever there, guy. Do whatever you're doing. You're not fucking up. <laughs> Yippee-yay-yo! Not ready for that yet. I'm ahead of the song. Hit! <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I don't like about the, the whole situation? We're, we're talking to, to Oscar. I mean, it's, it's okay, I guess. Uh, my thing is, is like, like if she takes any pictures or does any videos, and she sends them to me, right? 
not only does he send them to me, he sends them to everybody else too. Like I got, I got pictures and videos that she sent me, and then I jump on TikTok or I jump on YouTube or Facebook. They're right there. Now, if I send her a picture or make a video, I'm not going to send it to the goddamn world because it's not meant for them. It's meant for her, for her, you know? So I don't understand why she sends, why she makes pictures or, or videos and then she sends them out to the world. I mean, I see them. Don't get me wrong. I see everything she posts. But like I said, I, I follow her. I follow her on Facebook. I follow her on uh, fucking uh, TikTok. I follow her on goddamn fucking everything, dude. Like, I follow her. Before I even started talking to her, I follow her. No, I follow Lig Morgan. I, I, I follow fucking Bailey. I, I follow... Uh, the other Chinese girl that's in uh, that's in that's in WWE. Um, I follow Ric Flair, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Uh, I follow all the wrestlers pretty much on social media, right? But I'm not in conversations with them. Hey asshole, get the fuck out of my way! I'm busy here. You know, and that's what, that's what, that's what aggravates me. Like, she just sent me a picture, right? She just sent me a picture, right? I'm, I'm going to show you. Let's go over, over here, right? Oh, I don't know if it will be on there. This same video, this same video of her losing her earring, one of her earrings, she sent that to me before she sent it to anybody else. Be before, before anybody else got that video, I got it before anybody else. But she sent it out to people. Or she put it on her channel. But yeah, she, she sent that video of her losing her earring after her match in Las Vegas um, to me before, before she sent it and put it on YouTube or on TikTok or Facebook. But then when you go on there and you look at it, she sent it to everybody. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't give a fuck she sent it to everybody. But, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think she knows that I follow her on everything. So everything that she posts is I see. Now, some people will say, oh, that's stalking. No, no, actually, I was following her before I started talking to her. Is it still stalking now? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> and hell, I, I talk to her every day, but... 
But yeah, she like she sent me a picture just a minute ago. She sent me a picture a minute ago. I guarantee you, I guarantee to be on it'll be on TikTok. Either it'll be on TikTok or it'll be on it'll be on Facebook. Within probably an hour or so. Like if I go check my Facebook right now, it'll be on Facebook. Underneath underneath her name. I, I, I don't really say nothing about it. I don't, I don't say nothing about it. People might say that's creepy. <laughs> I just like to actually speak to a chick without her wanna post shit all over the goddamn internet. See how this goes. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I thought so. My wife with another man. Oh, I didn't know. Gorgeous. I've been here for ten years. Me to life of ease. Oh, red. Them this dog. Ever say? Those days of betrayal. Those of the darkness. Tell yourself, mighty lucky to keep this with gators in the quicksand, boy. Everybody can I pay us free. Thank you. 
point of me putting two of these motherfuckers down here if they're all just gonna do one oh he's out down of the dead town as he can be yeah that's right I'm taking a leap enjoying the show for the Oh, wait. Did you? Um, I need my gun. <laughs> oh, fucker pissed on the damn floor. Don't you pay for your four days? Cause I've got rights. Oh yeah, Alex Bliss. Oh yeah, she's hot. I like the craziness when she's doing the little fucking voodoo doll shit. And she used to be with uh, doing doing matches with uh, what's his name that died. Or he actually committed suicide, but uh, a lot of a lot of wrestlers commit suicide. Unfortunately, just how it how it goes. I don't know. I don't really understand how the motherfucker commit suicide. I mean, got all that money, got all that money. You want to commit suicide? Like they have. They, how many how many wrestlers have died from suicide so far? My 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 best my, my best part of it was when when Steen used to come out of the out of the rafters on that rope and shit on the harness and the and the and everything they stopped doing it because old dude fell off of it and died. Yeah, that's right. Which is take it early. Enjoy it the show. Now, did that dude do that many trash bags? The rest of the trash. Some more bags there. <laughs> Motherfucker. Look at how many bags? There's four right there, right? There's five. 
There's six. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. There's six right there, but there's said there's seven. Don't get me wrong, I mean, some of these wrestlers fucking hot. Like, like, don't get me wrong, they're fucking hot. But, I think they overdo it a lot of times, too. So, this one's pretty much done. I'm just waiting for it to get. So they filled this one up twice. Wow. 35 and 25. Somebody fucked up there. <laughs> Somebody fucked up there. This guy literally dragging the trash bag all the way from down there up to here. You got a staircase. You up the fucking staircase. What the? Yeah, there's no protection. She sent me a. She just sent me a message, saying, saying everything's okay. <laughs> I I highly doubt it. Highly doubt that. There's the stairs right there. Yeah, he could do the damn stairs on this. One. Brought the trash up. Right there. Trash go. Is their trash? I hope the game developer do 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 some more shit for this one. I think this game will be pretty good to <laughs> by this asshole. Get your ass with a fucking pallet. Now run over there, stupid. <laughs> we 
get stuck somewhere. Get the one off. Far did you? Gotta get him for he runs away. <laughs> but he's gonna get it. He's gonna get this crate. Bam, bitch. <laughs> Fucking hit him in his head with it. Hey, yo. Come over here again. Come on over here. I'll let you come over here. Don't go over there. Fucking hole. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Fucker. Oh, he's stuck in the ground. Bam! <laughs> Smack that boy in the head. Um, bam, ho! Oh. Got his bitch okay. ass. Okay. TKO, ho! Your ass is out of there. I'm leaving. You want some more? You want another one? I'm gonna drop this shit on you again. Bam! Fucking bastard. <laughs> He's a fucking bastard. Get out of here, you fucking wasted piece of shit. Fucking Pinto Negro. Haha. <laughs> I need to go check the check these ones out and see if everything's good. Uh, uh. Damn, they're still working on that shit? Ow. Well, the other one's ready. I guess I'll get him ready. But let's pay the... He don't pay us. He's a cheap bastard. <laughs> He's a cheap bastard. <laughs> Nine hundred and fifty bottles about to go out. Trish has some nice tits. If you move the silicone out of there, maybe. 
Man, I, I was watching some... I was... Okay. When I was a kid, my dad had this... Uh, he had a collection of porno, right? Porn magazines. Like, he had a subscription to porn. That they would send him porn magazines every month, right? So there's a subscription of China. If you know who China is, she was a professional wrestler before she died, right? Well, what you don't know, she was also in Playboy. She used to do Playboy magazines, right? So there's a there's a Playboy hustler out there or hustler magazine out there of China. And everything and there's also a video on porn um <laughs> only reason why I know is cuz I I looked it up <laughs> I looked it up and found out that China actually has a porn video of uh, of her and shit of doing porn now, most of these wrestlers come from doing porn, doing doing uh, Playboy magazines and shit like that. I don't know if a lot of people knew that or not, but that's how they got into. They actually got into wrestling was from being the hottest superstar, hottest female, whatever uh, background. I would say probably 60% of the rest of female wrestlers um, have done porn at one point of time. Believe it or not, I mean, you got like Charlotte, Charlotte Flair. I couldn't find any porn porn videos on her. She did do some um, video camera one time, magazine covers and shit. Lita, Trish, um, Mrs. The Mrs. Wife. She used to do. She used to do um magazines. Oh, she's she's pretty hot too. Now if she loses the if she loses all that baby fat, get get thin back down. You know, like she used to be when she was younger. Oh, she's a fucking hottie. Um, even, uh, even, uh, Bret Hart's daughter, um, that's in wrestling. Like, if she, if she actually got some work done on her to make her more attractable, <laughs> she's not attractable. I, I don't find her attractable, but... I mean, a lot of wrestlers did porn. Playboy magazines, hustlers. Um, my dad has a subscription to. <laughs> well, he did. He had boxes and boxes of pornos. Only reason why I know is because me and my brother found them. <laughs> We found them and we was looking through them through the magazines as a kid and shit. Um, cause when I moved from Corpus Christi, Texas, to Midland, Texas, my dad had a house in Midland, Texas, and uh, in his closet was nothing but porno. I I didn't know I didn't know that my dad ordered porn magazines. That's not, that's how I found out about pornos. <laughs> and then I would go I would go like to um like auto shops that they repair your cars. If you go into if you go into the bathroom and you look underneath the bathroom sink, there's stacks of pornos and, and magazines in there. <laughs> as a kid, as a kid finding Porn magazines. I used to call the numbers on the back 
like they have a pink sheet of their faces and the and the phone number i used to call the numbers late at night um and shit for my mom's house phone number so when the bill the phone bill come in she'd be mad at my dad <laughs> she'd be mad at my dad because she'd be thinking that he'd be calling the 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 porno magazines and she'd get a bill she'd get a phone bill that's racked up to six seven eight hundred bucks of fucking calling the porno magazines <laughs> <laughs> fucking you answered it like the 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 machine answers it right the automatic system answers the phone when you call right all you hear is this sexual music in the background oh, oh, oh. you know women and shit going all crazy and shit you know all, all kinds of fucking porn porn shit going on right fucking uh and in the in the first few things that they say is baby are you horny if you want to talk to a live operator just just swipe your card come on baby hurry hurry up hurry up and swipe your credit card mm baby come on <laughs> So I used to call it just to <laughs> just to hear the fucking the 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 operating system <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking I was stupid. <laughs> I used to call the porn numbers all the time on the back of the porn magazine and shit. Fucking be jerking off to the fucking porn magazine while the operators talking about slide your credit card in there. Put your credit card number in there. <laughs> That's how fucked up I was as, as a kid. <laughs> I used to do all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> I do all kinds of crazy shit as a kid. They're still working on that? Hundred and seven hundred and sixty nine. We need one more. I used to have fun. There's this there's this kid that I used to hang out with. Uh, every time we hanged out together, we was always doing stupid shit. We would take the uh, yellow gloves, you know how those old old yellow gloves, like for dish washing dishes and shit. We'll take the thumbs and the fingers, or cut the fingers and the thumbs off of them, right? And we'd take them, and we'd put them inside of a, a cut the top off. The, the coke bottle or the water bottle and then we we'll stick the thumb inside of it wrap a rubber rub, rubber band around it super glue it push it back through the other side and put a rock inside of it and pull it back and fucking shoot the street lights with it <laughs> shoot we, we be shooting street lights with it and cars that come by we'll shoot them with rocks that was inside the little glove the little glove finger thing We'll pull it back and pow! <laughs> we did we did stupid shit like that. We did like a 
we had one of those smoke smoke um firecrackers that we lit we put it in there we'll pull it back and shoot it and, and watch it explode m m uh what is those those m those cat m5s or some shit like that i had to stop hanging out with the guy because fucking dude would would stick uh firecrackers in the cat's ass yeah he would stick he'll grab the cat and fucking put an m5 firecracker in a cat's ass throw it in the dryer and turn the dryer on and watch the fucking cat explode I couldn't hang out with a good dude anymore. He's just fucking insane. Yeah, I had after that I stopped hanging out with him. <laughs> He's fucking insane. Cruelty to animals. Uh oh, he sent that one. But yeah. I grew up with that crazy. I think he went to prison. Or some shit. I don't know what it was. Arson or something. I know he used to break into a bunch of houses. Breaking a lot of houses. Oh no, can't move it. It won't go anymore. Shit. It won't go anymore. Fuck. <laughs> What's still going on there?
I'll have to go over there and get We'll get it in a minute.
Any bottles we need? 537? Did I get all the bottles off the truck? I did. We should have enough bottles. Quality. <laughs> uh, I need, need some more bottles. Six seventy two. How does it do that? We got the pallets. Sure are. I guess we send send that one. Yeah, we we'll send that. Rook. Thirteen. Make sure that truck's pulled up before you order that other shit.
Amen. Look, they're just barely on that one. Look at that. They're at seven. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, man. Only faithful. Ever and ever, Blueberry, you still here? Did you take a nap on me again? He always takes a nap, man. Like, he comes on my stream because he gets so tired and can't sleep, so he has to come over here and take a nap. <laughs> find out. Let me find out you take <laughs> I be sitting here trying to have a conversation with him. He falls asleep in the middle of the fucking conversation. He falls asleep. Check it out. Check it out, Larry. He falls asleep while I'm doing ATS, right? But he wants me to do ATS. Falls asleep. <laughs> then when I ask him, you know, about things in the stream, he's like, he makes a comment and says. I fell asleep. <laughs> I'll be like, what the fuck, dude? Do I, do I just talk you guys to sleepy time? Is that what I am? A bedtime story for you? Hi. <laughs> Ah, shit. Kill my vessel. 
Feel it run dry. Oh, my sky. Is my destination. Never try. Fill my vessel. The river runs. Be. Everyone cries. Even just nation never try fill my vessel. Baby runs by. Oh, they my vessel. It'll be everyone's time. How many trucks have we actually got? Lose control in the hand. Come on, get the box, give it. Come on, get them all, get them all, get them all, there you go. Hands up in my truck, I'm ready. Good troll. Damn. Girl, 
is not to be. And they're you overusing shit, dude. Thirty-five. There is supposed to be thirty-four. This one too. This one too. Then this one as well. Both of these. Fuck! I don't know what they're doing. Wasting my product. I'll tell you that. Fired. <laughs> Goddamn fire. <laughs> what bottles you got left? Two seventy-eight. Oh yes. But she don't want to marry me. Right? You want to fucky, 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 fucky? But no married. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Bye. Too late. Stay. Stay away. Is Mary, but you don't want to marry me. You, you was put in a friend zone, buddy. That's called friend, friend zone. <laughs> she don't want to fuck you, but she'll fuck everybody else, right? <laughs> then you just sit there and watch like this dirty fucking whore. This dirty fucking whore. <laughs> I asked my landlord a few months ago if she can come in here and paint paint, paint my walls and shit I'll get into it I, I, I'll look into it she ain't never looked into it I think it'll, it'll brighten it up more if it I think it'd just be more if they it, it'd brighten it more brighter if it was like more whiter instead of like yellow yellowish from because like kitchen is right there right like the kitchen's right there it's, this is a this is a, a loft okay so like it's got a balcony and shit you know not fully closed it's not got a bedroom door on it like it's got a bathroom door on it 
but there's no bedroom door. Um, you just walk up the staircase and then you're right into the bedroom. <laughs> so, and then and then you go right into turn right and there's a bathroom. And then there's a door. There's a toilet and the shower. So, I mean, you get some, you get that kind of privacy. But if they knock out that stupid wall in the middle and move the sink over just probably like three inches closer to the toilet and then put the wall I think it'd be more closet space and, and it'd be more easier instead of having like two fucking doors one to get in and then one to close to use the bathroom you know I don't know the, the art detector the developers <laughs> that's all I can say they, they're stupid like it's got this, it's got this, this Mexican theme of uh, how everything's built, right? It's an arch, right? Like those Spanish, Spanish arches and shit. And then there's one big, huge one right here. In my opinion, you just cut the, cut that shit off. Get rid of this whole entire wall right here, except for. Except for when it gets to like the staircase, you know what I mean. But even though you could turn the staircase, in, in my opinion, I think they need to turn the staircase. Um, no more pallets. Oh wait, there's a lot over here. Yeah, if they do like a, if they, because this building was built in 1970s, right? Um. So, I mean, if you look at it, like, this whole entire wall here is not worth the fuck of having. I mean, you could put, like, a, a, a beam, a thick-ass beam, like, it's a, like, it's a low-bearing wall. You know what I mean? You could, you could put, like, a beam running across there, open this up, and then you have more of a bigger of a kitchen. And then stuff like that, I mean, you can do more... More for the kitchen. Remodel the cabinet. All that shit, because all that shit's old as fuck. Fucking refrigerator is 18 years old. The price still works. Um, the vent over the over the stove is worthless as a fuck. Um, it's got like a one of those big light ones. Like the big strip bar things you put in there. That needs to be taken out. I used to have a chandelier above me. Yeah, I used to have a chandelier above me, but I bitched I bitched to the fucking contractor that was rebuilding the other thirty five apartments. And I told him, I said, Hey, is there any possibility you can replace that light to something else? And he's like, yeah, sure. Let me see what I got. So he's got this energy efficient one. Got like different settings for the lights and shit, which is pretty nice. Um, it's bright as fuck, as you can tell. I never use it. <laughs> I never use it. I mean, you know what I mean? I got a chandelier in the, in the hallway, too. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is trying to get rid of all the old shit from 1970. And bye. <laughs> Not this guy. He's back. <laughs> Three thirty in the morning. Go inside. Like a living from the ghost town. Still are rolling in. Back somewhere. Could have on the road. Tides are learning. It's not a telephone. 
fucking America. I hope and she's not right. Against the weather, there's Captain all out. On the road, the road, lightning strikes, feels cold, sleepless night, goes on out of control, Stuff. Take my stuff. Take my stuff. Comes out to hold him. Ain't for he's alive. All in the wind and rain. Strength, perfume. Flashes in her eyes. <laughs> he knows that she knows. Uh, thunder rolls and lightning strikes. Those ghosts cold. All the sleepless nights goes on out of control. Uh, thunder rolls. Gotta get groceries tomorrow. <clears throat> I heard about them doing those uh, supposed to be uh, stimulus checks. Supposed to be uh, doing stimulus again. But I hardly doubt they're going to do it. They have like 50... I think they have like... Uh, I think they said what was it 50 billion or some shit um left over from stimulus checks or, or some shit like that. um they was talking about how they was supposed to Joe Biden is supposed to give everybody else some uh some more money and shit for stimulus I don't I don't think it's gonna happen I mean, shit, we sent Ukraine fucking 200,000 or 200 million. Like, fucking Ukraine's got over 200 million dollars. Fucking Joe Biden keeps sending it to him. All, all taxpayers' money. <laughs> and then, and then they talking about Texas going to be going to war with the United States and shit. Trying to be a sovereign country or whatever. I mean, it'd be great. I mean, I, I I could see Texas beating the shit out of Washington. Like, literally beat the shit out of Washington. Because you got a bunch of dumb fucks in Washington. They all seem to be educated in some kind of fucking aspect. But in, in reality, they're all stupid. They're stupid rules. I mean, if you if you if you really look at if you really look at the society, okay, you really look at the society, the Ten Commandments, the rules, the regulations that we have in in the United States and in, in around the world, it's all fucking made up. Everything's made up. Someone sat down and wrote down 
what the fuck you could not do and what you can do and then slap it on the wall and say that's your fucking Ten Commandments bullshit no that's like them writing the Bible over and over and over printing out the same shit over and over and over and over and then they then the original the original copy of the original Bible from 1776 that they just found and discovered uh, of us actually having 13 months instead of 12 and then and then a bunch of a bunch of other shit about how they say Jesus Christ was born on the 25th that's a bullshit lie I mean you could tell that's a bullshit lie straight off the fucking bat you know because if you look at it when does everything pop up when does everything grow when when does everything grow spring right when is spring when 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 the when does the fucking birds and bees and and plants and all that shit start fucking and and and, and all that shit spring right march april somewhere around there right so they they state that you know that uh it starts in january no it doesn't actually actually it doesn't what the fuck grows in january there's still snow on the ground it's still winter you're still freezing your ass off you know what i mean february too i mean in the in, in the middle of february you know it, it starts lightening up and shit you know and then march and april comes around and, and start shit everything grows right so how do they sit up in here and say jesus christ was born december 25th when everything everybody knows if you're smart everybody knows jesus christ was born april 1st common sense everything grows april 1st between march and april 1st right nothing grows in fucking december nothing grows in january it's still frozen everything's frozen up until mid february so come on 13 there's thir supposedly 13 months there's a bunch of other shit i mean taxes we never had taxes taxes wasn't back then they didn't have taxes back then i mean all all, all this shit that they peep that that's coming out i i wish I, I wish the bible was exposed for the truth um to be honest because there's a lot of naysayers a lot of he said that this shit you know bullshit Type of crap going on I mean in, in my opinion I mean if you look at the world the world's fucked the, the Bible pff, that's just a slap in the face in my opinion the Bible is a slap in the face to everybody because no one pays attention to it. if they actually went by the yeah, Bible if they went by the Bible and what everything that you can and cannot do in the Bible, thou shalt not kill your neighbor. You sh thou shalt not lust, sleep with thy neighbor. Uh, you know, but you got Adam and Adam and uh, what's his name that killed each other. You know, you got all these giants that, you know, they're, they're talking about coming back and, um, you know, all, all this, all this crazy sh I mean, it would, it, it would be nice, like, it, it would be nice to, to, um, to have, you know all the all the people that was back then you know actually be 
out there for someone to actually be see the truth about shit you know um I mean, I, I, I'm not much of a believer with when it comes to the Bible. Um, now, I've read the Bible. I don't know how many fucking times. I, I can tell you everything that's in the Bible. I can tell you... You little bastard. <laughs> you know? You, you can, you know, the Old Testament. Everything's in the Old Testament. If you actually look it up, <laughs> everything's actually in the Old Testament. And see, a lot of people don't read the Old Testament. They want to read the New Testament. Ain't nothing new in the New Testament. <laughs> new, the New Testament tells you all kinds of new shit. You know, but the Old Testament tells you, you know, when everything, when everything was made, how everything was made, by what they, what they state, you know, what they, how they state it. But, I mean, you got the pyramids that was built, okay, and you got all these pharaohs and all this shit that was built, and you got all these underground cities. Uh, on you know all the shit that needs to be discovered lost cities and shit like that i mean at one point in time everything that we currently live on was underneath water and since we've been on earth we have fucked it up like there's a guy there's a guy that is trying to build a co complete new city in phoenix arizona right now that has no parking where they don't want you to have a car they want to they want to take your transportation completely the fuck away from you they don't want you to have no way of being able to drive in the in that city, Take my stuff. the city that they're building in in part of Arizona, right? Take my stuff. And um, Take my stuff. <laughs> he jumped right in that one. <clears throat> I got his ass again, huh? <laughs> Got him again, you a punk ass. <laughs> right there, I'm gonna bust his ass. <clears throat> You're done. Okay. Okay. But yeah, there's a there's a bunch of I'm leaving. Bunch of new I wouldn't say it's new. I'm pretty much old. But... Oh yeah, funny trash bag. That one. Fuck, I missed. But like, there's a whole bunch of old shit that the like, like TikTok. I mean, I would say TikTok is a great website. It is a great site for informational things. For for shit to be for information be for public that needs to be told the truth because there's too many too many news outlets you know that that's so full of shit you know what I mean like so full of shit news outlets are fake as fuck tell you what you want to hear I, I don't want I don't want to be told what the fuck I want to hear I, I don't want do, I don't want that shit I want I want them to, to come on the news and say the truth of reality of motherfuckers dying left and right from fentanyl or from some kind of drug or or or, or motherfuckers being shot 
for for a reason you know instead of them sitting up here with this bullshit about oh it was just a random act of violence bullshit ain't no fucking random act of violence you got a bunch of dumb douchebag fucks that runs around with guns in their hands and think it's cool to slaughter innocent okay not saying that no one's gonna die in this world uh but I, I mean if you look at it everybody's gonna die at some fucking point And they're talking about guns this and guns that. Then you got, okay, then you got black people, right? You got black people talking about white people this and Mexicans this and this nationality and that nationality and this and this and that. If you look at, if you look at TikTok and see what the black community is actually talking about, like, if you look at, um, you look at, um fucking nug uh, Kevin Gates, right? The rapper Kevin Gates, right? Ones with the tattoos all over his body that's done the prison time and all right. I mean if you look at it, that dude come came on there on TikTok in in an interview with some with someone else and they asked them what is the most controversially backlash of people that ridicule him for what he says and, and raps about in his songs. He comes back on there and says, niggas, black people, or the ones that are against him more than any other culture. And then, and then, and then people sit up in here and say, well, if you look at the news, you, they don't see black on black crime, but they see a white cop against a, a black man and say it's racial, but they don't talk about the black on black crime of the gang members and the rapists and the drug dealers and, 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 and the convicts and the child rapists of black people that have gone into their own community and killed their own fucking co their own community they don't talk about that shit they would never have but they they're quick to judge everybody else they're quick to judge everybody else uh, of everything else that everybody else does but the first person if you look at the hood okay I will tell you what the fucking if you look at you you can know I'm gonna tell you how you know it's the fucking ghetto. When you drive down the street and see half the fucking apartments, street lights, and and and, and shit busted up and broken and boarded up, right? Shoes wrapped around fucking uh electrical wires above above the street, right? Abandoned buildings, burnt up cars, glass in the parking lot, trash all over the fucking place, grass doesn't look like it's been mold, you know, hood rats, nasty cunts walking the streets, that's the hood. And, and they wonder why white people and Hispanic people don't want to live in, in, around them because they are messy. Like they're messy. They 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 don't clean up after themselves. They'll take a shit on the floor and not give a fuck about it. You know what I mean? Like how the fuck do you live in a nasty fucking house? I'm not talking about all bl black people are the same, but I mean, I mean white people are the same too. They 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 just do the same fucking thing. They get lazy. They get tired of cleaning shit up. They get tired of this. You know, it, it's all cultures, but. When they talk about Black Lives Matter bullshit, I knew that shit was a fucking joke when they came on the national news and said, oh, they want to talk about Black Lives Matter. Motherfucker, li Black Lives Matter has never mattered to the government. The government has used them as a pawn and keep using them as a pawn 
they use illegals as pawns too. You know what I mean? Why they get rich, why they get rich, and we get more poorer, they use they they use the white the 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 the, the black culture against the white. They use the, the black culture to commit crimes and, and say, "Oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll pay you if you burn down your own city. If you build if you burn down your own neighborhood and, and you commit all these crimes within your neighborhood, uh, we'll pay you. We'll pay you and your family." And we'll put your, your child in, in, in a better education. We'll give your child a better education. That's what Joe Biden, that's what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi promised the black community. And did they get it? Are they getting any smarter? No. I mean, they had all opportunities. They had all opportunities since since the 1900s and to the 2000s to wise up and, and to learn how to read and write it is not our fucking problem that you can't read it's not our fucking problem that you can't write it's not our problem that you stand on the street corner selling dope to a crack fiend that is pregnant with some other dope fiend's baby that comes out gonna be sucking on a crack pipe you know that's not our goddamn problem. You get all opportunities, just like a white man and a Hispanic man in the world to do any type of fucking job that you choose to do so, but you fail to do it because you want to sit around, get high, get drunk, and sell dope on the, on the corner because it's easy. And then they have they have the audacity, the balls to come on national TV and say the government's fucking them. No, I I'll tell you what the government's doing because they're not just fucking you, you fucking clowns. They're they're fucking everybody at the moment, okay? But back in the day, yeah, you black people and Hispanic people was the most targeted people to be tossed into prison because. You guys was an easy target because back then they couldn't do and say what they wanted to. What what I what I what I to be honest to be honest all the out of all that racial shit to me. I look at it. I look at it. The fact of it now is watching is watching all these videos and all this shit on on the the racism of shit back in the day like you guys got they got the balls to 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 run around and shoot motherfuckers and rob and kill people and do drive-bys and gangbang and do all this shit and sell dope in the last fucking 60 70 80 years but your but your your ancestors didn't have the balls, didn't have the balls to do what you guys are doing now. They sat around saying yes, master, yes, master, yes, master, when they should have been saying fuck you. I, I'm I, I'm a human being just like you. Instead, they cowered up like a bunch of bitches, and and, and sit there and said okay. Well, he's going to whip me with a whip, and I'm just going to sit there and take it. If, if I was a black person back then in the day, I would have been dead. Because I would have killed a motherfucker. To be honest, I would have killed a motherfucker. Motherfucker sit there and hit me with a whip and tell me to go pick a cotton? Bitch, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you. I'm not going to go pick no motherfucking cotton. I'm not going to go out there and stand in the hot ass sun and, and do a job that anyone can do. But you want to target black people? Fuck that. Decades and decades of them being ran over because they was afraid to do anything. And now in the last 80, 90 years, they got the balls to do shit? Come on, man. Get real. <laughs> like, get real, dude. 
at least Malcolm Malcolm X and Martin Luther King stood up, stood up for for their rights, and and Rosa Parks stood up and said, "Enough is enough of the bullshit." You know what I mean? Like, at least some of these motherfucking black people back then had the balls to do it. You know? In my opinion, they're just a bunch of cowards. Bunch of fucking cowards. You gonna let somebody hit you with a fucking whip? Because he's got a pistol? Because he's got a pistol and a whip? He's gonna beat you from a horse? Fuck that shit. Yank that motherfucker off the horse and kill that motherfucker. Is what the fuck gonna happen? You know, but but I, I'm not I'm not back then in those days. You know, I wasn't raised back then in those days. I was born in the '80s, and I love the motherfucking ladies. You know, uh, but I, I'm a fucking 420 hippie baby. My parents, you know what I mean. My parents was fucking uh. uh Smoking when I was born, you know, like I'm a 420. My birthday is 420. No bullshit. Uh, but you know, if you look at it, I mean, people are stupid. How they want to stand up for their rights? Come on, man. Like they want to pick the best time to stand up for their rights. When when old dude talking about he couldn't breathe, like, come on. Then everybody talked about well he's a convict and he's a murderer and this and this and this and I mean, back in the day, back in the day, cops was cricket as fuck and and a lot of people back in the day was was racist the motherfucker you know like I, I i watched rosa parks not even a week ago like i sat here and watched it i watched michael mux uh american history x i i watch all these old old films man you know what I mean? I, I'm a fanatic with fucking history. And, um... Like, if you look at the Indians, they didn't have no... They had no hesitation to scalp a motherfucker or, or kill a motherfucker. They didn't give a fuck what your skin color. They was killing them, killing their own people. You know what I mean? Like they was killing their own people, even including scalping white people and and scalping Hispanics and shit. You know, like Indians just didn't give a fuck. Like if they didn't give a fuck if they was the same fucking race or the same clan, they'll scalp your ass. You know, they didn't get they didn't give two fucks about it. You know, and and, and if you look at it, that was. That's reality. But then you look at how the, the black culture grew up. I mean, they was taken from Africa, shipped on ships until fucking 1764 when they abolished the, the um, capture slavery. You know, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't go to Africa and... and and just pick up African Africans from over there and bring them, and you know, and, and that's why we have, that's why they say they're African American, like the ones that was born here in America. Yes, you are African American because of your ancestors, but you have never been to Africa. And and about generations of generations of generations, decades from. 1790 to today I would say probably from 1790 to probably early 1800s you could still call yourself an African American if you was born in the United States but after after that 
your your bloodline your bloodline of you being a african um if your mother wasn't if your mother or father wasn't a hundred percent when you was born in the 1800s then you can't claim that you were fucking a fucking african american because you're you're what 80 90 you're what i would say 20 30 percent african and the rest of the rest of you is rest of the rest of your your blood it is what american mixed with white mixed with hispanic mixed with all kinds of shit i mean i was born in the united states skin color is white but i'm not motherfucking full-blooded white i'm not full-blooded white my grandmother which is on my mother's side is four percent black and her and her skin color is white as a goddamn ghost So when people sit up in here and talk about oh they're African American, you you show me your fucking blood work saying that you got African in you. That's like Hispanics talking about that they're Mexican American. Um No. No, not really. I mean, yeah, you guys was here. You know, before New Mexico was t turned into New Mexico and Texas was turned into Texas and shit like that. But, I mean, if you look at the history of that as well, I mean, your your bloodline thins down. Like my, like, well, like my ex-wife, she's a Native American, right? Her parents, her parents... Or like 40% Native American right now when she goes and gets her blood work done and it comes back of the percentage of what she is she's fucking mixed like a motherfucker so is her parents or my parents I'm I, I'm mixed with seven different fucking race or six different races my bad I, I'm mixed with six different races my children they're mixed with seven different different types of because what I have and then what they are which is Native American but if you look at my kids you look at me they look exactly like me they don't look like their mother they look like me so I've, I'm white Hispanic German French Irish Yaka Indian I can't say I can't say I'm black. I mean, my mom's bloodline, blood, when she does her paperwork, doesn't say anything percentage of her being black. But her mother is 4% black. So, when her mother, which is my grandmother, had 16 kids, you know, that, that bloodline of percentage... Of your blood it is not what the fuck you think it is like my kids my kids are like 4% Native American other than that they're mixed with everything I got but on paperwork they're still still marked as Native American but if you look them, look at them they're white as a motherfucker My ex-wife, she she looks white as a motherfucker too. <laughs> she looks white as a motherfucker as well, but she's Native American. I think she's like 20, 25 percent or some shit like that, but she's white as a motherfucker. Her mother, her mother is too. She looks more brownish. Her mother does. And her father, but she nah. She is not a hundred percent Native American. And and these people nowadays are claiming that these people nowadays they all claim oh they're 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 so they're that. Go get your fucking blood work done. Go get your blood work done, 
and find out what how much percentage percentage of what the fuck you think you are you're gonna find out you mix you mix with every motherfucker there you mix with everything 90 I, I would say I would say about 80% or 75% of people in the United States is mixed with Hispanic, white, German, French, or some kind of shit all mixed together, but their skin color tells you different. You can be black as a motherfucker. You can be black as a motherfucker. Go get your blood work done. You're not you're not a hundred percent African. You're not a hundred percent of anything. I've seen Hispanic people that was that would claim to be fucking a hundred percent of Hispanic and then they did their blood work and find out they're not. Like I I got a letter in there in their in the in the kitchen in the drawer of my grandmother telling me in the letter that she's four percent black. Now I do have relatives that are black that's in my family. I've got relatives that are Hispanic. I got relatives that are Puerto Rican, Chinese, Korean. I, I got motherfucking relatives all over the goddamn world that are different, that, that looks different from me, but they're still my relatives. <laughs> that's why I can't. That's why I can't be racist. I, I can't be racist towards people. I, I can't be racist to towards people. I can hate you for whatever the fuck is wrong with you, but I can't be racist to you. You know what I mean? But it's just reality. Like I said, a lot of people don't know their own history. They think they do. They're stupid. A lot of people are ignorant to their own beliefs. It was shoved down their fucking throat as a young child. Isn't true. You know, you know, you know when all that alien shit happened back in the, back in the, back in the, fifties and shit. You know that they used to make a bunch of, a bunch of. Uh, made up UFOs and shit back in back in the 50s and 20s to scare people to, to scare people to think that we was being invaded for us to to want to have a government to tell us what we can and can't do that's how that all that shit started like the government like the government like the government used to play mind mind games with people. Use people as fucking guinea pigs. Back in the day. Five hundred and seventy four bottles. Alright. In parables. Okay. Well, fucking two hundred or something was, or three hundred wasn't good enough. Let's try, let's try, let's try, um, is that one ready to go? It, it is ready to go, right? We'll get another truck. Those. In girls.
This is. I couldn't even figure out. Oh, that guy's already gone. There's another truck right there. What's that one? Ain't nothing in it. Oh, you motherfucker. So this truck's going to disappear. Yeah, this truck's going to disappear. We got to unload this one. It's going to disappear. And we got to load this one. <laughs> Cuz ain't nothing in it. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Right. Almost got. Yeah. I mean, I could send the truck away, but uh, that's just. I mean, I can send it away. It'll come back here when I recall it. But that's just money out of my pocket. Yeah, baby, baby, yeah. like this, like, like that. Oh, oh, coming back. To if you want. Coming back to back. Oh, coming. He the fuck a thing. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, get over here. Hi, y'all. <laughs> I don't think like everybody. I'm fucking whack as fuck. I'm, I'm literally whack. I think I'm more like a, a in the future. <laughs> shit fuck I stupid bro
Okay. Wanna go rock out to Nicki Minaj? That fake ass booty bitch, fake tits ass whore. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't touch that dirty bitch, ten foot dick, nor a hundred fucking pole. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that dirty bitch with shit. And one time I was into Rihanna. I like her music. Beyonce, I was okay with for a while. They're just coming out with all kinds of stupid shit. Think about stupid shit. They're showing their true colors. Clones, mostly. They're all clones. They're all showing up clones. Like, um, Beyonce. Yeah, like Beyonce. Anybody knows that she looked like a fucking clone? She didn't look like her. Like she didn't she didn't look like the real Beyonce. I guess that's that's what happens when you got money, right? You can just change your parents and get all kinds of shit done to you. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> well, there's another case. I got them all. Drop it. Oops, stupid. <laughs> Get off. Get off. Ah, fuck. Johnny's daddy was taking in fishing. He was eight years old. Little girl. Eight years old. Girl came to the front. Fishing. Oh. And look. Down in smile. I oh, don't want her to go. Say you'll change your mind. Johnny. Johnson. Hey, Tommy Thompson. Hey, my best friend, Bo. Anybody that you. Won't it? 
long as she don't go. Uh, don't take the girl. But I tell you Take my wallet Take my credit card Grandpa game Here's the key to my car To give it a whirl Don't take the Boy, I'm sweet girl I'll be a little more Time to go And the baby, ah, but you have to leave. Cause his mama's fighting fast. Johnny hit it. He, very, and back. Thank the, my chest. Face. Me. One last request. Don't take the daddy, take it, and he will take you. So. <laughs> Not a minute.
I don't mind. Oh. I don't want your stuff. Smells like piss. Fucking dirty muskrat. Hear this, right? I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Put your little pecker away. I don't want to see that. Looking like a goddamn worm to feed the fishes with. <laughs> Hear this, right? I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hmm? Well, oh. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. New York City. That's all I want to do. Got nothing, nothing on you. I like listening to blues. Yeah, I like listening to blues a lot. I'm more of an instrumental. Like I like to listen to the sounds of the music, uh, of the of the instrument that's being played. The music, like the electric guitars, the acoustics, the saxophone. Oh, uh, the banjo -y shit like that. The bass. I like the bass and sh 
I don't know. I, I find them. I like. I mean, I like. Don't get me wrong. I like the words to to songs, but I'm more into the the sound. More interested into the sound of what the song could be without the words. I don't know. I, I'm. I like music. <laughs> Sunday. Awesome. Trying to figure out if I took a shower. All this time I've been sitting here and I'm trying to figure out if I took a shower. <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking myself that. I know I took a shower, I just don't remember if I did. <laughs> I got so much of the shit on my mind. <laughs> like, I forgot if I took a shower. But I know I took a shower. <laughs> I know I took a shower. I just don't remember. I just don't remember of it. <laughs> what the heck? No, I took one. I just don't remember. My mind's gone blank. How many... How many trucks have we sent out? I lost count. <laughs> I fucking lost count of how many trucks we sent out. I, I don't want to listen to this goddamn song. Oh, John Ever. Oh. No. No. Oh.
Ah, man, I mean, I <sighs> fucking it's hear the same shit over and over. And over. <laughs> I know the fucking words of the song. <laughs> I need something I haven't heard in a while. I grew up listening to every motherfucking thing. My mom used to put those little 45s records on the record player. And then she had A tracks. You ever did your mom ever have an A track inside of the fucking car where the tape player is supposed to be at? But it's a fucking A track? Oh man. Going down the goddamn road listening to old ass countries and shit. <laughs> old as a motherfucker. Yeah, my mom had a a, uh, a big ass stereo system, right? It had a it had a uh, it had the big the big records, right? The big huge records, and then it had the small, which is the little forty five one, and then she had another small one for the little. I think it was called twenty fives or some shit like that. I think that's what the, was what they was called. So you got the 25s and 45s, and you got the other ones, the bigger ones. I don't know, big size uh, records are called. But then you have the radio, and then you have the A track player. Oh man, I used to jam the shit out of the A track player. <laughs> I listened to A tracks as a kid. Like, I, I listened to all that shit. I, I'm talking about Dolly Parton. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, motherfucking Elvis, Little Richard, <laughs> uh, fucking, what am I doing? Um, like all, all, all them old, old ass people, way, way, Lionel Richie, uh, fucking, I mean, everything. My grandmother, <laughs> my grandmother, she went to uh, Little Richard's concert one, or whatever the fuck they used to call it back in the day. Um, and uh, but my grandmother, she's a fucking hippie. She's a fucking hippie. <laughs> you catch her out in the fucking front yard sometimes eating mushrooms <laughs> wearing bell bottoms and shit <laughs> like wearing bell bottoms and shit We're out of beer. Okay, let's do this. Now, I'll do that. I'm gonna get the truck though. Mexican music. You guys can actually hear the music. That's a copyright. <laughs> I just realized that's a, if you guys can hear the music, that's fucking copyright. I'm gonna get copyright. <laughs>
I forgot about those. <laughs> I forgot about those. I'm <laughs> see. Uh, what the fuck's going here? All these, um, okay, that was weird. Oh, oh, that's funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's these? Baby mama still giving me I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Playing. What was I playing? Fucking game crashed. I was. Um, Ghost Recon. Which that game has never crashed on me playing. Alright, starting it. I 
I wish we could put the semi down here at the bottom. <laughs> put the semi down here in the bottom and collect, collect these fucking. You know what? I'll take one and not bring you one. I'll be like that. Let me just load the motherfuckers up. Oh. oh, yeah, when I turned it up with that one song. Oh, this microphone don't pick up that well. <laughs> I turned it up. I think we have enough pallets to put on to it. <laughs> I gave it that little extra boost and it jumped me up there.
Not winning. Not. Back with it. Come on, Rock. Come on, Rock. Back with it. Kind of stupid in my sixth fall. Dropping the hole. I'm trying to push this shit down there. Give it a minute, give it a minute, give it a minute. Wait a minute. Down the street, my six fold. My six fold, dragging the beat, dragging the beat. My six fold. Down the street, my six I think we got enough of the green shit. I think we got enough of this. Do this, do this, South. Goddamn dirty, dirty set. Over there. 
Evidently not. That stupid motherfucker still getting in. Piss boy. That piss boy still getting in. <laughs> Yellow bones on my dick. Not a yellow bone. I'm pretty. This is stupid. Hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah, that's that's right. the highest that I've gotten in this game. Last time I was on here, I got a hundred thousand. So hundred and twenty thousand. Price I can drop less than fifty bucks or fifty thousand. That would have been broke. If I lot as a yes sir, yes sir. Got to get paid. Hey. Alan's a monstrous. Then I don't know the rest of the <laughs> I don't know the rest of the
25 ladders, I'm a dresser, yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm? Shit. Sent it. I just sent it. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a leak. Enjoying the show. Hm? Twenty-five ladders a month. Yes, sir. I got a fucking bad headache all day. Like far pain up around this area. Fucking all day. I I thought it was from like not eating anything. He 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 get your bleep 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 ass out of here. <laughs> Gotta fuck this bitch one more time. Bang bang bang. No, 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 don't do that. I'm not a place to do this shit.
There's a trash bag over there. When Too Short used to make money, uh, make music, his shit was nice. Some of the shit that he was, he was rapping about, about talking about fucking ladies and shit. Bitch, in time, bitch, bitch. Motherfucker. Too. Wanna be a baller? Baller, got color, weight on your collar, collar getting late at night. Highway, highway, better. As I get high, color, a color, fade up, color, one, two, four, eight. We don't have enough. Yeah. We don't have enough. We got eight for the first bottom here. We got four or five. Um, we're missing. We're missing like seven, three. Three more sacks. Oh, no. 
All the whores take off this. Yes, <laughs> down. Okay, fuck you, blocks. I'm gonna play with you. Take my stuff. Take my stuff. Busting his ass up. <laughs> Chocolate, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay. Uh, 25? Hey, hey, I got it. I'm leaving. Oh, shit. Hey, where's this motherfucker ass supposed to clean this shit up? Hey, you motherfucking bitch. Or something. I don't need you. <laughs> hate you, hoe. Supposed to be, I hate you, bitch. <laughs> I hate you. I hate Uh, 
That's how I know she's not working. She's been more time trying to message me. <laughs> I don't know what roadmap is. Oh, this is roadmap? Be free content. Oh, look at that it's got a bunch of shit in there new behaviors voices will be added to the wow security it will be possible to a gold cap Hire a security guard. When? 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 When is that? Yeah. When is that? Because we definitely need one of those. Yeah. Hire a security guard. Security, it would be security to hire a, hire a security guard to hunt 
Oh, hunt that guy, okay. Beer can. Possible to buy empty beer can. Bags. Loose can. What is station? Beer keg. Hmm. Controller. Controller. Go about uh. Whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Xbox controller support. PC controller support. Steering wheel as well. Forklift only. Wow. Opportunity to hire that guy. Mm. One of those conversations. Yeah. Yeah, one of those fucking conversations. So you can be able to use a steering wheel on only for forklift. Why the hell would I want to turn the goddamn steering wheel on for? <laughs> Just to do the fucking forklift. I'm great with the forklift as I'm driving now. Ah, uh, that'd be some great stuff. Add, add to the Can't click on it. Can't click. All of what? Well, I think that's coming. Come. Yeah, it's coming out. It's supposed to. I mean, that's what that's what it says. Everything listed below will be free content. Will be free free content. This is likely to grow over time. Certain. So they're still working on it. Yeah, it's all going to be new. All this is coming. This is coming. Which is great. 
Yeah, which is great. But... You asked me if all a wild. That was a wild game. Is that what you asked me? Man, I, I couldn't figure out how to hunt the animals in that game, dude. I couldn't figure out how to hunt the damn animals in that game. Every animal, even the rap, I tried to chase down rabbits. Couldn't chase down rabbits. Tried to chase down fucking elk and fucking all these other animals in the game, right? You spend a lot of time walking. In the game for 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 this one, you spend a lot of time walking. It's a good game and all, but I don't want to fucking walk miles and miles and miles and miles just to go hunt the fucking animal that is not gonna pay worth the fuck because it decided it's gonna run off, and then you shoot it in sass, and you know <laughs> you just fuck up the whole fucking animal. I mean, I got all the DLCs for that, but. I couldn't pay attention to it anyways. I'm I'm easily distracted. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. I be thinking about one thing. Got another thing on my mind. I, I like you started chatting with me again and I, I don't get what she's saying. I don't know, I, I think she doesn't want to talk to me. Uh, all my time is limited. I don't know what the fuck you mean. I asked her, did I do something wrong? Dude, fucking shit. I don't know. You gotta explain shit to me to get me to understand what the fuck you're talking about. Unless, unless I know what you're talking about, I, I don't. I'm not gonna just guess whatever the fuck you're talking about. I, I need some. You, you gotta explain it to me. You know, I, you just can't throw a picture up and somebody say, "Oh," you know. With with all kinds of directions and then act like I'm not gonna get lost. Of course I'm gonna get lost. I she asked me what was I doing? I told her I was playing, I, I was listening to music and, and playing a video, video game, live streaming. And this is what you say. I asked her, I asked her, or she asked me what was I doing, right? She asked me what was I doing. And I said, Playing on my PC. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Don't let me disturb you. Have fun. Talk to you later. You know. And I said, uh, "Did I do something wrong?" Then she replies, "But don't don't have. But you don't have time. You don't have. You don't have time." My time, but you 
don't have my time anymore. Do you know that? And I'm like, um, why do you say that? Don't worry. Be good. And then now, like, uh, she, she, she said, don't worry. Be good. And I'm, and I'm like, uh, is there, is, uh, something wrong? Did I say something? Did I do something? She replies, yes, you did. I said, and what is that? Never mind. Talk to you later. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm playing video games. I'm listening to fucking music and having a conversation with you. And I, I what? You know, I, I don't know, man. I, I hate trying to. I hate trying to have. Trying to. See, this is where she fucked up at. Okay. When she asked me. I mean, she didn't even ask me. She just. She's like. Um, can you. Uh, can you do me a favor? And I'm like, okay, yeah. And I'm like, are you sure? What is it? What What is the favor? You know? And she's like. She's like, well. Uh. She sent me a link with the IRS shit, right? And I'm like, okay. So I was like, um, I was live streaming that same night, which was Thursday. Um, so I'm looking at it all weird, and I got off. I got off streaming because it was irritating that she was asking me, can I do something with the irs and now like what are you talking about what do you want me to do with the irs like she didn't say anything can can i add you on my tax papers to to you know uh get more money can i add you as a dependent or something and i'm like why would you want to ask me that first of all we just barely started talking second of all uh, when the fuck did we start trading our fucking information for taxes? You know, and, and and I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm sitting here trying to figure out what she was saying while I'm playing the game, and I told her I'll look, I'll, I'll read it, I'll read it later, and I'll get back to her w with it. She was like, okay, okay, uh, uh, what are you doing? And I'm, like, I'm playing my video game and streaming. Oh, okay, let me don't, don't let me destroy you. And I'm like, oh, okay, now attitude. Here comes, here comes attitude, you know? Um, so, I mean, I don't know. So I got off the, I got off streaming so I can pay attention to what the fuck this was about, you know? And then I spent all night messing with her, asking her, what is this for? What is this about? Uh, what am I supposed to do with it? Um, this and this and all this shit, you know? And I mean, I, I don't know. You give me a book and what do you want me to do with the fucking book? You want me to read the book? You want me to shit on the book? You want me to open the book? You want me to tear the book up? You want me to throw the book in the trash? You want me to put the book on the counter? What the fuck do you want me to do with the fucking book? You know, it's like you send somebody a link somewhere and and, and what, am, am I a, a fucking genius and supposed to say, oh, oh, link, go, go type a link, you know? Um, no. You know, like, you want me to do something or ask me to do something, explain what you want, first of all. And how is it going to do me a favor, this or this or whatever, and I don't know. Since the, the tax paper shit, that's all, I've, that's all I've heard about. Like, it's nothing else. It's... Pictures of do this, pictures of do that, 
pictures of this is how you do it. This is not Pictionary. We're we're not playing Pictionary. We're not playing Where the fuck is Waldo? You know, like I mean I don't mind helping, but at least explain to me what the fuck I'm doing before I go start jerking off on the fucking internet somewhere and trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing and, and, and you know like you, you gotta explain it to me and I tried to explain that shit to her and I don't know I don't know and then like I said I started talking to her on the on the 5th of February by the six and seven, she was already saying, I love you. Wow. We got them. We go from a fucking zero to a thousand like that quick. Like, God damn. Um, you know. <laughs> um, I I'm not the guy. I'm not I, I'm I'm gonna tell you now I'm I'm not the guy to make the first move with a chick. I'm not. You know what I mean? I, I'm not. I will play stupid with you until you make the first move. You know? <laughs> but I mean I don't get it, dude. I, I've never had anybody ever do that to me. I, I've never now she's saying, oh, I did something wrong. Fuck, I do wrong. I talk to you every day. Hell, I talk to you when you don't even want to talk to me. Like, you ghost me for like four, five, six hours, and I'm sitting here like, what the fuck, you know? You know, is you going to say something? I've sent you like 12 fucking messages, you know? And, and, and I'm, you ghosting the shit out of me, but when it comes to me ghosting you like I go to sleep yesterday right I go to sleep yesterday at four o'clock right I got after I got off this motherfucker at four yesterday I went to bed right I went to bed and I and I told her I told her I, while I, w I was live streaming that I'm gonna go to bed because I was already gonna be up you know almost 24 hours Fucking, so, I go to sleep, I, I don't, I'm not hearing nothing, I'm sleeping good as a motherfucker, I wake up at, what was it, 9, 10 o'clock last night, you know, I look at my phone, and my phone, like, blown up messages and shit, you know, so I'm looking at the messages, you know, look at the messages, trying to see what the fuck it is, and it's like after I said something to her of me going to bed, like it's like she forgot everything, everything I said of me going to bed. Um, you know, and then. So between six, between six and and eight, she blew my phone up, trying to get hold of me. You know what was so important? Wanted to know if I got an email back from the IRS. I rolled over and went back to sleep. Yeah. I went rolled back over and went to sleep. Said I'm not dealing with this shit. Fucking, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I laid there, went back to sleep, got up at eleven. <coughs> I mean, not physically, but opened my eyes around eleven. You know, and like, oh shit, I was gonna get up and stream. I'm like, it's all right. I I'll stream in the morning. <laughs> So I went back to sleep. <laughs> I didn't finally get out of bed, literally out of bed until one o'clock this morning. 
when I took a shower at one o'clock this morning and and turned on my PC, you know, like normal, you know, run down here, turn it on, back up there, there take a shower, then get dressed and come back down and <laughs> you know. Um But yeah, she she blew up my phone like crazy. And and I talked to her for a little while. But then she went to sleep and then I don't know today's like I don't know, I'm tired of it. I I, I don't want to be bugged the IRS shit. Going on a week, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm to the point where I just want to turn the phone off. <laughs> yeah, I, I get to the point where I want to turn off the phone. <laughs> And then this one right here, she just asked me what was I doing. Like, it, it just goes like that. And I know she wants to ask me about the IRS papers. Like, every time she, she asks me what I'm doing. Like, I mean, I, she asked me what do I do for work. I told her nothing. I don't work. She asked me, well, do you have any friends? I said, on, on live streams? When I'm live streaming? Oh, okay. You know? But. You know, like, what am I supposed to do? Sit here and stare at my four walls? You know, and stare at the walls and shit? I mean, I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> is that what the fuck I'm supposed to do? You know? I mean, I don't know. Not responding. I ain't played this game in a minute. Yep, not responding. Huh. If it's not gonna respond, then it's fucking end it, stupid. Why are you gonna ask me stupid questions? End it. I mean, if it's not gonna start up, what the fuck? You, you think it's gonna start up five, ten minutes later? Not responding. Close. Beer, look, 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 beer factory still running. 
That's why it's not starting. That's the reason why it's not starting. Beer Factory is still fucking running. What the fuck, Beer Factory? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, look, it says it's right here, still running. And evidently there's shit over here. Why is this game active? Or is this it Steam again? I mean, I, I would it. I would not get it. Go with this bullshit with stream again. Waiting for Bear Factory to shut down. Not gonna shut down. Got a force of the. Oh, this is still. This is still sitting here. Yep, this is still sitting here. Wow. Last time I did this shit, I had to shut everything the fuck down. Oh. Well. Thing I can do is probably run. I would have to either power it down completely. I, I tried it in the stream, but nothing. Now, this is not closing, and Steam's not opening. I, I would have to go in there. Awesome. No. <laughs> I would have to shut it down. It, 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 I'm gonna have to restart the whole fucking piece. All right, guys. I guess I'll talk to you later. Anything else new comes amazing. I, I'll come back on do another live stream. I gotta re reboot this some bitch.